Hello, Twitch and YouTube. We're just getting going here. So fun as always. Uh, we're going to be hunting the wonderful Lion Knight today. Uh, we just managed to get him assembled. He looks like he has a little bit of a broken left wrist right now, but that's about the best we can do last night. So there's that. Um, just uh, I'll be getting the the tweets and stuff sent out, just notifying everybody quick. So I'll turn it over to Nicole uh, to let you know more about what we're doing today. Yeah, so uh, we're expecting today, well, on our calendar, we're very full, uh, we are going to encounter the Hands of Heat event again because we lost our lantern oven and when we first had it we already had the lantern oven. Various reasons, we're going to be doing it again. Um, we will be doing the Dung Beetle Knights introduction event, Rumbling in the Dark. We will be doing Places Everyone, which I am like 95% sure is the Lion Knight special showdown, so... Yeah, and we'll be facing another Gorm climate. So, uh, as I said, our social calendar is very full. Um, this is going to be exciting. We've never fought the Lion Knight before. Uh, it has a lot of special rules, so we may be, you know, tripping our way through them a little bit. Uh, but, you know, like, stay with us. We'll manage. <laughs> we'll die, and die yeah. again, and die more. We'll probably die. A Lots lot. of death happens. Well, it is called Kingdom Death. Oh, who wants the Dreaded Cavus? Um, what does that do again? First severe injury, not a severe injury. Uh, maybe we should give that to Omelette? Uh, sure. Since Omelette is the one we're trying to keep alive for uh, weapon proficiency right now. Okay, um... If we had the Twilight Sword, I'd give it to that person. Yeah, but alas, no, we, we don't! We keep losing that! No, we don't. We oh. still have the Twilight Sword, oh. but I'm just not bringing it on the Lion Knight thing, because yeah. why the fuck would I? Like, it's going to be really, with the toughness... With like, a lot of unknowns. What's yeah. his toughness? His toughness is 10. So Not really helpful with... Well, it could be helpful, but it's going to be hard to hit. Yeah. Has he gotten any proficiency in it? One. But so. that's not enough to take off Cumbersome, which is the big problem, because he can't move and attack. So it's an 8 plus for the accuracy. We don't know how the Lion Knight moves. Seven movement, by the way. No, but we don't know how active he is. I'm betting he's going to be active. He seems like an active kind of guy. He yeah. looks like he wants to give us a hug, actually. You know what? Like his I think he like does, this. but I think he's going to wrap those claws right in okay. when he hugs. Yes, that's true. Oh, hey! Hi, Midnight. Welcome hey, back. Hey, Midnight. Uh, yeah. So. so this should be exciting. Um, yeah, we had, uh, thank you. I can't remember the guy's name. Hold on, let me pull that up. I feel bad if I call out somebody and don't say their name. Um, yeah, it's good to say their name. <laughs> where is that? Um, uh, Orpheus. Thank you, Orpheus, if you managed to tune in. I know you're from France. You said you're going to try to tune in today. Uh, congratulations on binge-watching our entire Kingdom Death stream in, like, a day and a half. <laughs> that is dedication, man. That's dedication. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hiccups. Yeah. Why do I have to get hiccups during the stream? I don't know, man, but you totally do. You totally have I, I'm so moved by Orpheus, I'm getting hiccups. Um, oh. Okay, for those who maybe catch this on Board Game Geek new, this is the first time you've seen it. As always, we've got this overlay going. We love to hear feedback. Uh, the feedback's part of what gave us, if you look all the way over uh, on that side, uh, you will now see our lantern year. Um, I meant to make up the lantern icon and throw that on there, but uh, kind of ran out of time. We were uh, demoing Defense Grid the board game up in Linwood, Washington this morning. So that kind of took some of our time. Um, but uh, we've got it posted now, and it's just going to keep getting better. If there's anything you'd like to see on our overlay, anything like that, we always love hearing about it. Okay. Other than that, I think we're good to die. Yeah, A plus dying. We'll oh, die again. Yeah, we decided to keep the colored platforms too to help you ID our characters a little bit better. We've got three with a colored platform, one without. Um, we haven't glued them, so you might see us every now and then pick up and go, oh crap, but we're working on that. Okay, so we, well, I guess it doesn't matter. We can technically do this. So uh, do, do, do. we are survivors return. Oh. So we need to. Oh, I need the uh, token? Yeah. Well, I mean, we still go through this, and there's yep. stuff that's going to happen before we get to the Lion's Night. So we set up. Now Survivor's Return. Ding, ding, ding. Um, so it, I think Waffles went out. Yeah, Waffles went out last time, and Chicken Fried Steak. Waffles gives plus one Endeavor when a returning Survivor. So what about Omelette and Strawberry? 
Uh, they don't have any of that, right? Or... No, we do get oh, wait. we get a plus one endeavor. Okay, so we have six endeavors because we have two tinkers coming back and we're, all four of us survived. Okay, so let me pull those out. So are we on and gain endeavors now? Yeah. Okay, so six endeavors. There we go. Okay, so now draw the settlement event. Oh, crap. I didn't even pull out that deck. Uh... <laughs> As usual, we're completely organized. We're, we're getting better at this. We don't have one of these yet either. No, we don't. <laughs> okay, so um, let me make sure these are all in here. Yep. Okay. And because I don't like people to think we cheat on this stuff, I try to shuffle these on the board. Oh, I am not a master shuffler if that's not apparent, so I'm not exactly the cheating sort. <laughs> Though, God, my luck, we're going to get a, a freaking uh, plague again. Oh, please don't. Did you have to say that? Was that something that you had to say, Ron? Like, uh, really? Apparently it is. Oh, God. You just cursed us. Oh, and for those looking for more board game funness from us, our four-player group, which includes Rico, my partner in Forged by Geeks, as well as a friend, Peter, uh, we just finally, it took me forever, about eight weeks, to get our second video of Kingdom or not Kingdom Death, a Pandemic Legacy posted on our YouTube. Uh, sometime over the next week or two, I'm hoping to get about another six to seven videos of that up. And maybe in about two, three weeks, uh, we'll actually get on track to where we'll be posting them as we make them. Okay, this one just hopped out while shuffling, so I'm going to take it. That, seem, that seems like... It's going to be Plague. That's, that seems like destiny. I've got to take this card. It's going to be Plague. Dun, dun, dun. Gorm Climate. Oh my god, we're lucky. That means we don't get another settlement event this year. Oh, we don't get the Gorm Climate again? Yeah, I mean, well, we don't get a second Gorm Climate. We just do that once. Oh! Basically, it's a non -settlement. It was Destiny! Okay. Oh. So, yes. Okay. So do we run that right now? Yes. Where's Mira when we need her? She's right here. Woohoo! So you are handling Mira. Okay. So all returning survivors, yada, yada, yada. Uh, add it to the next lantern year on the timeline. Done. And we do not have any resources in settlement storage, so it actually does not matter what we roll aside from what happens. Okay, do we have hovel? Uh, yes. Do we have storytelling? No. Roll. Okay, we can do three or four. We want four. Yeah, so let's just do four. Or actually, uh, no, because we have a choice. Three would be all resources and settlement storage are lost. It's only negative, whereas the hovel has a positive, right? Uh, let's see. Survivors huddle, uh, the survivors huddle inside as razor winds and sickening lightning pummel the settlement. Plus two to endeavor results at home innovations this latter year. Yeah, yeah. we should take that. So we'll take that. Okay. Woohoo! That's a good start. Yeah. That, wait, did I just say good start in reference to Kingdom Death? You totally did. You've ruined us. Probably, but that wouldn't be the first time. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put these two like last time, just to remind us we get a two, uh, a plus two on rolls to that. Okay, so I now I suppose we move on to up, well, update death count, so no changes, and up now we update the timeline. Okay. So we are now in Lantern Near Gate. Woohoo! Okay. Uh... Hands of Heat, the mystery of the lantern's glow. We have not already innovated Lantern Oven because it's not currently there. Though there's some argument in the game as to whether or not we get it again. This is exactly the same phrasing as the Gorm Negredo. Okay, uh, what does the phrasing say? If the settlement already innovated Lantern Oven, skip this event and roll on Lantern Branding Table. Yeah, I don't know. I tend to take the perspective of we technically don't have it right now. Yeah. Um, if we, because branding, that yeah, you'd have to have Lantern Oven to do that. No, so, I mean, there is, it's a clumsy accident, and then people are like, oh man, like, uh, you know, why wouldn't you add experiment with lan or Lantern branding? Uh yeah, I, I think it, we, we have to play it as though we don't have Lantern Oven, because anything on that, just from a technological perspective, would assume we could do it. Yeah, I think it makes the most sense. Okay, so nominate a survivor. They gain plus one courage and experiment with lanterns. Okay, so... I don't have anybody that can hit 
bonus with that. Oh, we have somebody over here. Waffles can hit bonus. A sausage can hit bonus, um, which would give us, wouldn't that give us matchmaker? Yes. Um, I think so, at least. We could start building up Mira. No, I think we want, because it, it, matchmaker only works when you come back from a hunt. Okay, so we don't get that this round, but we get it future rounds. Yeah. Okay, though you took Waffles out. So if Waffles went to three, we get it this round, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, then let, let's do Waffles up to three. Okay. So Waffles goes up to three and encounters the bold event. Cool. Um, bold. Uh, settlement phase. Yep, matchmaker once per year. Uh, and then I roll a 1d10. Four. Gain one endeavor, the settlement phase. Woohoo! Okay, so now we experiment with lanterns. That does mean waffles goes in, which means, yeah. Risk of death? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, though, yeah. Oh, well. We'll see what How happens. How high of risk? Uh, 30%. Oh, roll high, roll high. That's not high. Nope. That sucks. Bye-bye, waffles. It was nice knowing you. An agitated lantern shatters in the survivor's face. Badly burned and disfigured, the survivor is exiled from the settlement as an inhuman monster. However, the other survivors learn something from this tragedy. You gain this lantern um, cover. Be careful. Innovation. Don't mark dead. Mark exiled. Because the thing is very specific on dead characters. Okay. God, I can't believe I lost waffles. And as a result, we don't actually get the death count. Huh? Um... He didn't die. Okay. She. She didn't die. Okay, so minus one population. Oh. Uh, two, fourteen. As I am the stickler for rules for a change. <laughs> Ugh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, your settlement gains the lantern of an innovation. Though we do get that back, which is great. Yeah, we we but, ditched you know, it earlier. If you didn't catch that. This is gonna be worse. Why? The, the other consequence is worse than losing the population. Oh. Okay. Um, oh, and then we have to we have the lantern up on consequences. Yeah, just pull out those decks because we're probably going to need them. I'll, I'll pull those out while you read through. Okay. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. Add the Bone Witch to the timeline three lantern years from now. Oh, because we lost somebody? No, because we lost somebody in this event. Okay, so this is our... Our deck for drawing if we innovate. Yes. Okay. So you need to find the lantern of in consequences. Yeah. Oh well, that sucks. There's cooking and scrap melt smelting. All right. So that was that. Um. And nothing else happens. All Yay. right. So now we do rumbling in the dark. Which is probably going to immediately dump us into fight. This bad boy. No. Rumbling oh. in the Dark is the Dung Beetle Knight. Oh. Oh. I didn't know about that. Rumbling in the Dark. A low, constant rumble woke a woman sleeping on the ground. She quietly shifted her bedding aside and lowered her ear to the ground. Something strange was happening out in the darkness. In a breathless moment, the woman's wonder overcame her fear, and she set out to find the source of the tremors underfoot. Nominate a female survivor. That survivor gains plus one permanent strength. Does anything else happen with that? Uh, we don't know. This is oh, right. all the information that we have. Damn it, omelet's male. Um, I've got strawberry. That put her up to plus two. Could be kind of nice. I mean, particularly if you're taking her out because... Yeah, um, she's the catgut bow. So that could still be really nice. That would put her at technically a five on strength for bonus. That would be kind of nice. Okay, let's do Strawberry. Strawberry is nominated. And if Strawberry dies, we can deal with it. She's got absent seizures. The woman followed her feet, feeling her way toward the rumble until it became a quake. Ahead, she saw a peculiar figure struggling to push a massive sphere up a hill. The object appeared quite heavy, and the creature faltered, often losing ground. Each time it did, it redoubled its efforts and rolled the massive weight back up the hill, shaking the ground anew. At first glance, the struggle appeared clumsy and pathetic, but as she watched, the woman was taken by the creature's unrelenting perseverance. Even after the monster crested the hill and vanished, its noble form and simple mission stayed with her. Admiration was too weak a word to describe her feelings. The nominated sur female survivor gains the vermin obsession disorder. Oh. Yay, another disorder to go with absent or absent seizures. 
So vermin obsession. Yes. Okay, that's going to be one of the flagged ones. Um, vermin obsession. You love insects. While there is a bug spot terrain tile on the showdown board, you are so overwhelmed you are doomed. So I can't uh, use any survival, right? Awesome! Hey. So don't get any bug spots. Oh, but we can clear those. Yes. The woman quietly stole back into the settlement, waking no one. Although this, the others slept soundly, she remained awake, invigorated by witnessing such dedication and exertion. She searched the settlement for the smoothest object she could find and began to roll it, emulating the monster. She would teach the settlement its ways and show them perfect persistence. Gain the round stone training innovation. Oh, that's a new innovation? Yeah. Round stone? Training. Roundstone trading. Um, you can spend an endeavor and one resource to roll a d10. On a one, gain motion sickness disorder. On a two, gain the crossarm block fighting art. On three to eight, gain the tumble fighting art. Nine plus, you have a serene moment. Gain three plus insanity and either the carapace of will or propulsion drive secret fighting art. Hmm. I like this. Yeah. Okay. Wait a second. What do you want to look up? It said secret fighting art. Yeah, that's in the other deck. But I have propulsion drive. Yeah, we character. gained that. Yeah, we gained that as a secret fighting art before. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so we can now hunt the dung beetle knight. Add it to the quarries list. Okay. I forgot to write down what absence seizures did to me. Oh, first time you'd suffer brain trauma, you'd show down, you were instead knocked down and forget a fighting art. That'll be fun. Yeah. Okay, so Waffles is dead. <laughs> well, not exactly dead, but. Close enough. Hey, we got a few more viewers. Bye! If you Hi. have any questions or comments, let us know. And if your name happens to be, I can't remember what his name was. I said it earlier. Oh. Terrible. I'm horrible with names. Always have been. Uh, that's what looking online is. Orpheus. If it's Orpheus there, hi again. Thank you for uh, watching and commenting on our last few videos on YouTube. Okay. I guess I will take out Raping. Oh, gonna switch out to gr Oh, Waffles died. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> well, or I could take a woman. That would be even. Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, so I will take out... Um, Fruit Loops, I guess. Okay, so you'll need a new sheet up there. Yeah. Fruit Loops. Okay, so what else do we have to do before we go out? Um, more stuff. More events? There's another event. Oh, wait, no. Actually, this is going to be the line night, I think. Yeah, but we have an event for that. Yeah. Okay. So something is going to happen. Um, and she has one strength, four dope expert. God, you and your freaking wardrobe expert. Yeah, no kidding. I've thrown that, what, like four times now? <laughs> Disturbing number of times. I'm just saying that I'm not judging you, but I'm judging you. Yeah, of course. Oh, and by the way, sorry I'm so dark. We have a light source called a window behind me. As it gets darker outside, I show up. Um, it's called a window? Yes. We've got a curtain to mount and hang in the window, finally. But we haven't gotten around to it yet. So hoping to get that up sometime in the next couple of weeks that when I stream, you can see me at the start. I'm going to turn the oven and we're going to start training. Oh, Lion Knight is my favorite show now. We've never done Lion Knight, so this is entirely blind. We have no clue what he's like, other than he looks like an asshole. But hey, that's almost everything here. I love that he starts on a mountain of faces. Okay. Places, everyone! <laughs> Suddenly, three more figures appear, stirring up a commotion. Despite the whirlwind of activity around it, the Lion Knight remains still. 
With exacting haste, two women make a clearing in the settlement around Goliathite, while a third writes distant, disinterestedly in the massive ancient tomb. Tome. You're terrible. An array of ornate, unidentifiable props and costumes is pulled out of a dark armoire and meticulously arranged around a makeshift stage. Survivors must depart the settlement phase for a special showdown with the Lion Knight. Choose departing survivors now and nominate them to take the stage. We still get the departing bonus of survival, right? Which is plus two? Um, we get plus two because of settlement watch. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to bump Strawberry up to five. Yeah, everybody ends up being five because of all these bonuses. Oh, even uh, Gravy? Yeah, Gravy gets up to five because he gets plus two from the leather bracers that he's wearing and also the plus two from that and one for me. Level okay. two makes him super fun. I think you mean super deadly. Uh, <laughs> they do have some interesting terrain cards. So Waffles is gone, so... Bye-bye! It's dead. Oops. It was nice knowing him for, like, two years. <laughs> we were complaining that uh, we were going to... Uh, um, uh, she run out of names for breakfast foods, but fundamentally, Fruit Loops. Like, if we yeah. start doing cereals, yep. we'll be at this all day. No, we have Tang and something else I thought that we need to use next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got them noted down. Okay, sweet. You'll get a bonus for departing ammonia and stuff. Woo! Oh, yeah, yeah, our normal bonuses. Yeah, we, we're totally maxed out at five. There's no fear whatsoever. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on innovations. We've yeah. got 10 at year 7. Can't complain too much. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I'll start cleaning this stuff up. Okay, setting this stuff over here, just that we remember. I mean, I could have... Oops, no. He, yeah, I could have... No, he moves your character. Parts, I can't do that either. Oh, wow. Well. There we go. I was thinking about bringing out the butcher flavor, but it's like yeah. nobody's insane enough. Okay. There we go. Get that stuff all cleaned off. Alrighty then. And you'll need this on your side? Uh, yeah, there is something else that we need to do there. Oh. Why am I not surprised? Do you want to roll or should I? Coffee is next. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, coffee. Uh, Tang was technically before coffee. Oh, it was? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Coffee will be after that. Charles Fox. Okay. Uh, this should be an interesting showdown. Yeah! That's what we're thinking. Okay, so we just have to roll something. So... Three. One of the women approaches the survivor with the highest insanity from behind. Okay, I've got six. It would be more than either of mine. Hi, Strawberry! She whispers in their ear. The survivor laughs maniacally and begins dancing in an unfamiliar way. The dancing survivor gains the immortal disorder and minus one permanent invasion. Well, crap. Hold on. Oh, that's an actual minus one invasion. I don't have any bonus. Well. And what was the disorder? Uh, immortal. Which means you do not take damage until you run, and until you're no longer insane, basically. You lose insanity instead. Oh. Convert all damage dealt to your hit locations to brain damage. If you are so busy reveling in your own glory that you cannot spend survive that you cannot spend survival while insane. Oh, okay. There's the other part of it. Oh, also that means that it that yeah, armor and stuff doesn't matter on this character. Oh uh, no, it does because once you're no longer insane, you no longer damage uh, brain. Oh, while you are insane. Yeah, while you're insane. So three plus insanity for those viewing at home. Okay, so. So I'm loaded up with disorders. All right, so now we show down. I mean, I presume we show down. Yes. Okay. There once was a monster. There was once a monster who was shunned by its creator and left to wander, wander the darkness. Lost in the world of humans, it was driven insane in its attempts to comprehend them. Now the only reality it accepts exists deep in its hollow, broken mind. Okay, so. Survivors begin the showdown with a roll card. Ensure that a survivor has the villain roll by dealing it first. Then deal one roll card at random to each other survivor. So who wants the villain roll? I'll roll. 
How does that work? Or what is it? Uh, you're doomed. If you die, the showdown is over. The survivors are defeated. So doomed would stop me from... Spending survival. We don't want that on omelet. It'll go on strawberry. Okay. So strawberry is not a villain. <laughs> Though strawberry is also the most likely to die, so hey, there's that. Yeah. But strawberry is also ranged, so that may help. Uh, if you are four, just shuffle it out. <laughs> nah! I mean, it's kind of, yeah, I mean, it's not exactly clear. Uh, ruler, and then for chicken fried stick, damsel, and for fruit loops, fool. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Hmm? I have negative two movement. Hmm. On the ruler. What do you have? Uh, damsel, you are not a threat. You cannot gain the priority target token if you surge to attack the Lion Knight targets you and performs outburst at the end of your attack. Fool, when you gain this, reduce armor points at your waist location to zero. Add plus two to your severe injury rolls. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, if you have a, if you can activate to taunt the Lion Knight, all knockdown survivors stand enraged. The Lion Knight drops everything, targets you, and performs outburst. Okay. I think I may be better with Ruler. <laughs> um, by the way, the Ruler can spend an action to exchange Ruler with a survivor adjacent. Oh, interesting. Okay, so... Oh, they will change. Oh, good to know. All right, so hit locations. If you will shuffle these, please. Sure. They're not using the special uh, terrain right now because it is uh, not necessary when you are first. What's his uh, What's his toughness again? Ten. Ten. I thought it was eleven. Huh. No, it's ten. Zeal, at the end of each monster turn, perform basic action. And Outburst. Target loses one survival. Exchange their roll card with the villain. Oh. Discard any unresolved AI cards, perform basic action, then if it is Lion Knight's turn, end it. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, we'll be changing. Outburst basically changes roles and, rushes, and he rushes for you. Yeah, it looks like probably he's getting pissed. Yeah. Because, like, hey! Do play we, your roles, damn it! Do we do we chop off his ding-dong at some point? Who knows? <laughs> we seem to do that to a lot of uh, enemies. You know, a lot of people say about the Lion God, which is one that's not in this this uh, game, uh -huh. uh, is uh, that, like, there's a lot of talk about penises with it. I haven't actually, like, constructed the model, so I don't know. Oh, no. But, uh... Like, it's like, because it's the Lion God, it's like, it has tons and tons of ding-dongs, right? <laughs> of course it does. Oh. So. Okay. And it has a total of 12 hit points, not including its basic action. Okay. So, 10 basics to advanced? Yep. Oh, I shuffle like crap. Well, I wasn't going to say anything. Didn't somebody criticize me a couple games ago for my shuffling? I was abusing the cards or something? Yeah, I think they did. Uh... Okay. Here we go. Yeah, our cards. Hit location cards. So his basic action is always the villain, if possible. Um, or for the basic action, I mean. Oh, Jesus. What does it do? Speed 4, accuracy 2 plus, damage 2, after damage target suffers a bash. Ah! Run! Ow! Ow! Oh, God, it's really bad that we don't have dash. Ow! Mommy! <laughs> this is gonna hurt. 
<laughs> it hurts him when, he's, when I shuffle like that without sleeves. We thought about sleeving this whole game, but oh god, the amount of sleeves. Okay. I might do that at some point. Yeah. Um, we'll have to see how much all the sleeves would cost. We like buying the premium Mayday sleeves when we sleeve, so that's a lot. So we're looking at something like this. Okay, so two kitty corner. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, we go first, by the way, so. Oh, we do? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to leave like that. So we can actually rush him and attack from behind. Yes. Okay, so we, we're ready to go? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I'm hmm. going to die. Okay, I will try to charge up on his rear and see if I can get this fist and tooth out of the way. Okay. Oh, wait. Nope, I can't do that. I'm negative two movement. Okay. <laughs> So, would you like try whacking him? Maybe he turns around and runs forward. Uh, fair enough. Uh, so this is going to be Chicken Fried Steak, who's the damsel. Comes <laughs> up behind him and tries to beat him with a riot mask. Yeah, midnight. I caught that last second. But thank you, because sometimes I don't. <sighs> yeah, well, we don't have dash either, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so Chicken Fried Steak tries to nail him with the riot thing. What do you need? Uh, five plus. No, four plus. Okay. That would be two hits. Yes, it would. Does the perfect hit get you anything? Not for riot mace. Okay. Dauntless Repel. What's, oh, first... First Strike Parry. First Strike Parry. Okay, that's new. Uh, parry... Carry. Maybe special rules for him? Parry. <laughs> Need to figure out what parry means. Uh, when attempting to... Read it? I don't want to. If I read it, it makes it real. <laughs> A parry hit location represents the monster skillfully deflecting an attack when attempting to wound parry locations, all wound attempts fail unless the wound result is critical. This attempt, this causes any failure reactions as normal. What does crit do? Or, or sorry, what does first strike do again? It means you have to resolve that hit location first. Okay, so if you have two of those, you get a pick. Oh, uh, probably. Yay. First strike. Yes, we still decide which order we want to go in. Uh, oh, it even says wound attempts on this location fail unless the wound roll is a critical. Yay! If you hit with a guitar, you are knocked down and end your attack. Okay! So Omelette won't be using the Lion Beast guitar very much. Oh dear. Did you shuffle well? Oh wait, I shuffled those. Yeah, it's two of the same. Excuse me! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Now, the Riot Mace is deadly, so it does have a plus one luck, so that helps a little bit. I have 20% oh. chance of wounding. But, um... Yeah. Which one are you doing first? Does it matter? No, it doesn't. They're the same card. That's oh. why we're commenting on how bad at shuffling you are. No. Okay. Failure. All suffers suffer bash and knockback seven. Full move the Lion Knight towards the closest threat. So that is anybody but the damsel who just So hit bash out. and knockback seven? Yeah. And he's knocked down. Oh, okay. And then move the Lion Knight towards the closest threat. So it Ooh. could go towards... Okay. That works. All right. So that was Chicken Fried Steak's rather sad action. Now my turn? Yes. Okay, I'm going to flank him. Not that that matters much. Mm -hmm. With my whole whopping three movement. Uh, going to whack him with my fist and tooth. It is a speed two. Seven plus because of my uh, fighting art. No. <laughs> We're seriously all going to die. Yeah, probably. Okay, cat got bow time. Strawberry's taking a plunk. This is also 7 plus. Two hits. And I get a stage, a stage fight and biting spleen. Um... Stage fight reflexes, I would lose two armor points at a random hit location. That's not a problem. Um, not adjacent, so I won't suffer knockback. But then full move line knight towards attacker. Uh, 
If your wound attempt failed, place this card back on top of the hit location deck instead of the discard pile. Hmm. Um, Biting Spleen. Uh, if the attacker is a fool, the Lion Knight gains negative two toughness until, until the end of the attack. Hmm. Um, I don't think we have any fools. No, the fool is Fruit Loops. Oh, okay. Um, if I critical wound, I get the priority target token. Um, Charles Fox knows you, man. But if I'm the fool, he would also get a plus one damage token. Uh-huh. Charles Fox knows you, man. Uh, <laughs> 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 you watched our pandemic stream, I see. Yeah, let's just say that proves out many times over, and I get banned from touching any of the decks. I, they don't even let me draw the cards. They draw the cards and hand them to me. Mm -hmm. You still managed to screw up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with the stage fight. Okay. So, um, I need, I've got three plus two. Uh, so I've got five, so that means I need a five plus the damage. Yes. No! I'm rolling great today. Did it say end your attack? No. But he does full move towards me. Okay. If I was adjacent, he would have bashed me. Ah. So that would have ended the attack. But since I'm not adjacent, all good. Um, and I, now I do the fool one. Uh, still a five plus. Hey, I damaged once. Okay. Actually, no crit. No crit. Okay. Don't have the luck on this character. So just regular damage. Okay. <laughs> Right. Oh, put back on top of deck. Uh, yeah, I did. I put this on top of the deck. Okay, good. Yeah. Cool. I'm done. And you're one out of range. Uh, yes, but I technically have the bone darts. Oh, yeah. I'd use them. Staying a little bit away, just to be safe. Why not? He seems to not. He seems to like characters next to him, so... I would get within three in case you end up getting transferred. The this, uh, ruler. This one? Back out one. Three spaces away because you can only move three with the ruler. Okay. Bone darts. No. No. All right. So, oh, we didn't technically decide who was uh, No, I was putting it on that character. That's why I tossed you over. Okay. Yeah. Break a leg. Closest <sighs> threat facing in range. Um, I think that's Omelette. Yeah. I think he's about to break a leg. <laughs> oh, boy. The villain is super dead. Uh-oh. Yeah, the villain is super dead. Oh, we don't actually uh, Twitch stream Pandemic because uh, one of the people in our group, um, he just wants us to possibly do a couple audio edits. So you might notice every now and then it goes dead silent. That's because he doesn't like saying certain things audible. So we have I have to go through and edit that. That's part of the reason why it takes us longer to get it up. But that's only on YouTube. That's not Twitch stream. Okay, so speed 3, accuracy 2 plus, damage 2, after hit, like attack always gets So it's accuracy damage. 2 plus. So for me, that's a 4 plus. That would be two hits. Okay, and what's the damage? Always hits the target's leg location. Well, shit. Um, and what's the after? Always hits the leg location. Oh, that's all it is? Okay. Um, I'm going to dodge one. Okay. And try to keep it. I keep it. Okay. I keep my survival. So I have a full set of rawhide gear, so I roll six plus, I get to keep. So I lose the rest of my leg armor. Alrighty then. We really need to update your app to say leg and proper stuff that says feet. And I keep getting confused. I'm sorry. I'm picky. <laughs> All right. At the end of each monster turn, perform basic action. So uh, That wasn't the villain. That was... Oh. The villain is going to be super dead. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to need another die. Oh, what's this now? Oh. Move and attack. He targets the villain? Yeah. Speed four. Okay, so, so he, yeah, he walks over to you. Actually, I'm gonna have him do it from here so that you can reach as well. You are super dead. What's the four with two plus? Yes. Does a one always miss? Yes. Oh, good because uh, he has negative one evasion. Yeah. Well, one always misses. <laughs> okay. Um. At least I think it does. Uh, no, the blue guy is not the ruler. The blue guy is the villain. That's my female. 
Uh, oh yeah, yeah. No, the blue the blue guy is the villain. The ruler is the yes. uh, omelet. Yeah, it always misses. So, uh, so he gets three hits on you. Damage of two. He's not agreeing with me. That's not fair. Oh, I might have misspoke. If I did, I'm really sorry about that. Head, body. For how much each? Two body. Okay, so. Okay, so spend survival because you're wait, doomed. Wait, how much? Uh, how much damage? Two. For each of those. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first one. So two of those get sucked by my brain. Okay. Um. So he's down to two insanity. So he loses the Im immortality bonus. Um. So he takes two damage to what did I have choices of? Uh, head, body, body. Okay, I'm going to take it to body, so that'll put him at heavy damage. Okay. Okay, what's next? So you took the damage to your head? No. Okay, so you take... I took a head, head and a body both to my insanity. Oh, wow. Because he's you immortal. Had, oh, yeah, you had six insanity. Okay. Uh-huh. And okay. now, where's body is now that. All right. So that would be the end of that. Ha-ha, I didn't die. That's on you. Ha-ha. <laughs> Okay, so now our turn. Yep. Do the monster controller doesn't pass, or does no. it? No. No. Okay. Um. So, I will have omelet go first, and I will spend a survival to stand up strawberry. Okay. And I lose that survival. But strawberry stands up. And then he's going to run in his three. <laughs> oh, I might have had the tokens on. Yeah, I might have had it backwards first, but I've got it going right now. Okay. So we're good. Um, and now I roll two to attack with my fist and tooth. And miss both. Do you want to go, or should I try to plunk him with strawberry before strawberry dies? Um, I can't reach him with either of my characters. Uh, oh. I can hit him with the bone darts, but that's it. Okay, then I will plunk with strawberry. Okay. One hit. <laughs> uh, stage fight again. Attacker loses two armor points at random hit location as a reflex. And the knockback, yeah, I'm adjacent, so I'm going to go, Wee! Okay. Um, okay, so I get one attempt to wound, and this is with four strength, so six plus. Or no, five strength, five plus. And I wound. Uh, oh, no, that's great. Wow, seriously? Yep. Wow. And this goes, our. Uh, yeah, it goes on the top. Nope, right? only failed. Okay. So that time it goes away. Wow. All right then. Yeah, you're you're so dead. Yeah. Uh, oh, bye it's bye. just knockback. Oh, that's terrible. Yep. So I stay a threat. Awesome. This is going great. Yeah. Alrighty then, so now it switches. Okay. Here's your AI card. Right swipe. Closest threat facing in range. Oh crap. Mm-hmm. Oh no, no, you didn't. Yeah, I'm, oh fuck, I need to die. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Wow, three hits. Uh, need to die. We don't really need to trade those oh, yeah. quite as much. Body, waist, and feet. Yeah, good point. So, taking two damage to body, waist, and feet. I'll be rolling on the chart. It's right here. Just for good fun, before I die, I'm going to update this. I am knocked down. <laughs> Um, and I roll on the body chart. That'd be an eight. Broken rib, minus one permanent speed. 
Don't forget to record it because you. But you can yeah. record it multiple times. Gain one bleed token. Oh, I get a bleed. Yay. Okay, so broken rib. Yes. Speed or movement? Speed. Oh. I did the wrong thing here. Yay! That's a pleasant start. Oh, uh, yeah. If you die, then this is over. Yeah. Um, and then minus one speed. You can't go to, to zero, right? No. Okay. You can drop below zero. On a... I somehow survived that. Oh, and bash and knock back seven. So, okay, you, but the thing is, the next thing is, Zeal, at the end of each monster turn, perform basic action. What's his basic action? His basic action is move and attack target, the villain. Speed four. Only speed four? He, well, oh. no, move seven. Now, speed four. So that would be two hits and two more hits. So four hits. Waist, waist, body, arms. Okay, so the arms I managed to absorb. Where did I put my pen? I don't know. Oh, over here. So the so the arms just knock me down. And it's two damage each. Yeah, the waist, and then what was the other? Waist, waist. And body. And body. So I'll need to roll on waist twice and body once. Okay. She, she's not dead yet. No, no. <laughs> yeah, the show's over at the villain's dead. I think we're about to lose that. Um, There's still a chance. I have to be adjacent to the survivor to trade the ruler card. Yes, but I can, I can taunt him off you. Oh. Okay, so let's do waste three. Gain two bleeding tokens. Well, that's a great start. Mm -hmm. That puts me at three. Waste again. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, showdown's over. <laughs> that was fast. Oh, that was really quick. Bye-bye, Strawberry. So, Mark Strawberry dead. All right. By the way, in case you're wondering how we died, two more bleed tokens. I earned four right there. What would have been the last one body? Yeah. Six. Just want to know what happened to her right before she died. Man, that's depressing. Uh, disemboweled. Oh. <laughs> no, your movement is reduced to one until the showdown ends. Gain one bleeding token. Skip the next hunt. But if you care, if one at least one other survivor, if you survive the encounter, like if everybody else survives the encounter, like you don't get any other negatives. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, we need more armor. We're almost there on armor. We almost got a leather armor set and a gourmet set. Okay. Uh, intermission. The knight, Lion Knight removes, resumes his repose. If the survivors were defeated, the villain's body lies still on the stage. The Lion Knight strolls out from behind the stage wearing a white mask. The retinue stands off stage, clapping excitedly. Although the survivors are saddened by their loss, they can't help but feel like they have done something right. Awash with pride, they awkwardly face their audience and take a bow. Lose the stoic statue innovation and gain the white mask innovation. Add places everyone to the timeline four years from now. So we we don't have the Stoic statue, I don't think. Yes, we do. We do. Yes. Oh yeah. So where did those go over here? So we lose the Stoic statue. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's right over here. Oh. And we gain the white mask, which is one of which is a weird innovation. Okay. Like it is double sided. Stoic statue. There it is. Okay. So this goes back in the deck under other. That's easy. Okay, one at a time, nominate each remaining returning... White mask? Yeah. Okay, looking White for mask. it. White uh, mask. Da, 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 da. Should be towards the back. There it is. That's it's on the other side. It's a two-sided innovation. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Hold on. I'll read this off quick. Uh, you can spend an endeavor to visit the retinue. 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 And get a event called Strange Caravan. 
You can spend an endeavor to leave a monster the monster an offering. You spend one resource and roll a d10. One to six, you are satisfied, you feel satisfied, gain plus two survival. Seven to nine, you stand strongly beside it. All departing survivors get a plus one strength token. <laughs> Ten plus, you touch its heart knit, heartless chest and feel emptiness as the cold surface sears your hand. Gain the red fist secret fighting art. Okay. All right. So, um, Go ahead. I'll just look that up. you're going to have to roll stuff. Oh, okay. Well, let me look up what red fist is. Red fist. At the start of each showdown, each survivor gains a plus one strength token. Survivors may spend the plus one strength tokens in place of survival. Hmm. Okay. Um, one at a time, nominate each returning survivor and roll 1d10. So, go ahead. Strawberry is not it. Five. Basking in the glow of the retinue's admiration, you forget all about your defeat. When you get home, you realize you've forgotten a bit more than that. Lose all levels of your current weapon proficiency. One level. Uh-huh. That sucks. All right. I take it this is all bad. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's not all bad, but it's not great. Okay, chicken fried steak. Woo. Seven. Oh, the retinue coyly offers you a small trinket as consolation. Add one broken lantern basic research to the settlement storage. Note that it goes directly into the settlement storage. So we could have lost it with Gorm Climate, but we're... No, we wouldn't have. Well, yeah, if we had, if we could get Gorm Climate again, we could lose yeah. it. But it's important to write it down and not do it there because we can get multiples. Yeah. Okay, now Fruit Loops rolls. He retires. Ah, oh, crap. Really? Yep. He was just with us! He just joined! I hardly knew you, Fruit Loops. Yeah, but she can have babies. But we usually have Mira have babies. Oh, right. And that's a female? Yeah. Okay, so that that didn't go very well. No, no, it didn't. Uh, could you? Uh, where are they? I need to do my drink. Yeah. There you go. Um. So. Can you just look that up? I'll slide it under. The uh, we do gain two endeavors. Oh, we do. Because somebody died. Oh right. Yay! Endeavors! Something that we're never short on anymore. Yeah. Okay, where's that? I keep losing stuff. There it is. That's our innovation deck. What is this one sitting here for? Oh, that's one that should be in the deck. So we'll have to shuffle that. Okay. Well, that went so fast. Yeah, that was pretty quick. We might end up doing an extra one tonight. Yeah, that's um, fine. So we've got to hide, a bone. Oh, I guess he does still count towards our population one. Gee. Okay, so we were on timeline. Anything else in the update timeline? Uh, no. We would have had Gorm Climate, but... Oh, the Lion Knight's awesome. That was a fun fight. Despite the fact that we lost, <laughs> I had a lot of fun with that. Watching... Uh, actually, we're, if we do a second hunt, it's going to be us dying to the Kingsman level 2. Hunt. Second hunt. Can we skip that and just lose 5 people? No. You have to lose 4 people. Can we just say we lost 4 people? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta play it out, man. Oh. You never know. You might, you might win. He's got 15 toughness. Okay, well, either way, develop, we move on to, right? Yes. Okay, so we can develop. Where are we with the le person with leather? We have the leather leather cuirass and the leather bracers. Okay, so let me see what we see. So have the cuirass and the bracers. Yes. We need the mask, skirt, and boots. Mm -hmm. We would need four total hide and a scrap to do that. I don't think we want to spend the stout hide because we need that for the gourmet. Yeah. Um, but if we spent all the stout hide, we would finish the leather set. 
I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I'm kind of... Hyde is not that rare. Yeah. Fundamentally. Like... Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, you ignore Bash. That's, leather armor's not bad, but it's not like... Any pluses to total armor? You do get plus one to all hit locations. Which would put us at four? Yeah, could... Fair enough. That that would be nice, but I think we'll get there after the next fight anyways. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this then. We have two that we can do. We can do either the boots or the skirt and mask. I want the boots. You really want the boots? The boots, if we get the boots, then we can uh then I think that gives us enough hookups to do the to have monster grease gain the plus additional plus one evasion. Double check. Yeah. Um only 11 in blind spot. Oh, thank you. That makes life so much better. <laughs> and we lost our one character that had King's Step. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm still not sure. Ah, oh, light. Go away, light. The day star, it burns. Um, We're going through a heat wave out in Seattle. It's a whole, like, what, 85 today? Something like that. So the boots would be good? Uh, yeah, I'd have to lose the cloth. But Why? if I did that, then I could equip this person with the bandages as well and the uh, reverberating lantern. And that gives them the three green hookups to get the monster grease plus one evasion. Oh, but that would get rid of the one waste armor. Yeah. So what would we do to get... Well, no, you could get rid of the bone daggers or the... Oh, yeah, I could get rid of the bone darts instead. Yeah, I would get rid of the bone darts. Yeah. So you definitely want the boots. I do that. Uh... I think it's probably going to be the best. Like, what's the... We should shovel check. What's Mask the and skirt. So the skirt is just three three to the waist, which is nice. Um, the leather mask does give you, give you plus two insanity, but that's not quite as important with the reverberating lantern. I agree. Okay, so then in that case, we're going to spend one endeavor to turn one of the hide into a leather. And then we're going... We ha, do we have to spend an endeavor to craft? No. Uh, no. Okay, so then we get rid of... The one leather that we made out of a hide and another hide to uh, make the uh, leather boots. Okay, so we now have the leather boots. Okay, so that is complete. Um, next up, um, ooh, okay, we can't. We don't care about the jiggling lark, correct? No. And we don't care about our extra start heart. Uh, we have two of them. We only need one. Yes. Okay. Um, and we need the one for the possible Gorn. Um, that's why we're saving that. Okay, so in that case, I say we spend the Jiggling Lard, the Heart, and the Bone, Monster Bone, to innovate. Oh, the Jiggling Lard counts as Hide? It's Hide or Organ. Okay, yeah. We can do that. Yeah, the only risk there is we won't get a greater Gax, but I don't think we're going to get that anyways. Okay. And I'd rather do the innovation and not dump one of our other important things. Yeah. Oh, oh, 96 in Kansas. Ooh. Yeah, the nice thing out here is we also get no humidity. I used to live in Chicago. I don't miss humidity. Okay, so you can... When we pull out that deck, we'll put those away. Oh, you okay. need the worm. That's what we're going to be hunting. We're probably only going to... Do... We were originally planning to do a level 2 gorm, but we actually did a little peek ahead and went, no, that's a bad idea. Um, we don't think we can handle it without the armor. Yeah. So, okay. So, for those watching at home, we're keeping two stout hides, a kidney, and a heart. The reason why we're keeping these is all we need left is the gourmet mask, which requires a start hide and a handed skull, and the gourmet suit, which requires three stout hide and a kidney. So now we've got the kidney and two hides. All we need is one more hide, and then we've got the heart in case we want to eventually make a gorn. The Gorn's nice because you can stand everybody up in something else. Get insanity. Oh, and get, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. The Gorn is a very nice little just utility item that we'd like to get. So since we've got a heart, they were hard to get, even though we somehow ended up with two. Uh, it'd be nice to have. Okay. So now we're innovating? Yeah, and we've got one broken lantern, which we So can... you needed to deduct an endeavor for the, for the leather. I did. I already did the leather one. We had nine. How did we get up to nine? Because we had seven going in to the fight, and then we got two for the person dying. We only had six going in. I no, think. we had seven. Why? Because uh, we had four returning survivors and two tankers. 
and then there was something else we an event gave us one I thought oh yeah the the bold okay yeah you're right okay. unfortunately we didn't get the we, we don't get the matchmaker because yeah. she died okay um so now we're gonna spend one to innovate okay oh and we get to draw two cards correct yes okay so shuffling this up Please drums or symposium, one or the other, please, please, please. Draw what? Please drums or symposium. Yeah. We really need those drums. I want the Gorm climate gone. I know. And I'd like symposium just because that allowed us to get the other Gorm stuff so we could start making green armor, hopefully. Mm -hmm. I think we may be a lost cause for green armor, though, this campaign. We'll see. We're having trouble keeping people alive. Yeah. Um. Okay, so first option, symposium. Oh. Oh. Second option, albedo. Okay, I think we need to do symposium. I agree, but I'll just read them off. So symposium will give us an extra survival limit. Mm -hmm. So that puts us up to six. And when a survivor innovates, we draw two additional cards. So we get to draw four. Mm -hmm. Albedo uh, is a Gorm one. Uh, you can spend two innovations once this lantern year to roll a d10. One to two, Elixir of Forgetfulness. Returning survivors lose one level of weapon proficiency. Three, but we'd only have a 10% because of Mira. Three through nine, Elixir of Concentration. Spend four organs to gain the Gorm brain. Okay. So that's how we get the brain. And then 10 plus, Elixir of Restoration. Returning survivors change one negative attribute modifier of their choice to a zero. That's nice. It could be a negative two, three, or four. Yeah. And then it becomes zero. But yeah, we're taking Symposium. Yeah. So we're now up to six on our survival limit, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. And I need to check and see if we add any new consequences. The other thing. Oh, God. We'd love to go for the level two Gorm, but we can't die. <laughs> and we really need his resources. Once we get more armor, that's what we're going to be starting to hunt is level twos. We've been talking about maybe doing level two white lions. Get a lion armor set for our last person. Um, oh, shoot. I need to actually read these while going through. Um, does not look like there's any symposium consequences. Uh, yes, there are. Oh, wait. there's There they are. Sorry. I didn't go far enough. Nightmare training. Train, lose three survival and roll. Uh, if you roll a one, you spend a survival or die. Two through seven, spend a survival and roll again. Eight through nine... Gain one weapon proficiency level. Uh, 10 plus, gain one permanent accuracy or strength. And then storytelling. Another survival limit increase. Two endeavors, roll a d10. Uh, one to three, spend three resources, gain an understanding. Four through seven, gain two survival and two insanity. Eight plus, get an event. There you go. <laughs> if it affects the settlement event, I think... Wait, that good, I'm afraid. It only affects charts when she is rolling on them. Uh, one of the, I actually read online, and there was some debate on this on Board Game Geek, and people were generally of the opinion that you can use otherworldly luck on settlement events as long as it isn't a specific character takes place, like rivals. You can't use it for rivals because, well, unless you dumped Mirror in it, um, in our case. But, um... For other settlement events, she's considered part of the settlement, and as long as it's not just impacting an explicit character, or we're willing to like make the trade off of her as the character. So it's, yeah. Okay, so the other thing important about Symposium is that I assume that it's reasonable for us to play with the 1.4 rules. Now that we have innovated Symposium, we can now innovate at the Lantern Horde, and as long as, and basically choose two survivors. One must have two or more hunt XP than the other who's in there, and they gain plus one hunt XP. It's not written there. It's part of the one point four Oh, okay. Uh, in theory, yes. I'm not sure, really. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You're a good point. You'd only probably get one because one person is activating the settlement event. Yeah, I think... Yeah, it's hard to say. Yeah, honestly. that one I think we'd probably just take the plus one. Yeah, I don't think it makes sense to do plus two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a this, that's one problem with this game. It's got so many rules on top of rules. You have to make some judgment calls, and there is the rule of death, but within reason. 
Okay, so you were saying about the Lantern Horde? Yeah, so it's not written on that card, but the 1.4 version of the Lantern Horde, if you have Symposium, you can endeavor to spend a Hunt XP, like to basically, excuse me, not spend a Hunt XP, to basically transmit Hunt XPs XP from somebody who is experienced to somebody who has no experience. Oh, but they have or to have even, but they have to have how many hunt XP over? You have to have at least two more hunt XP. But sausage has four right now. And omelet has three. Well, no, uh, omelet. Te- did we did we technically get a hunt XP for that one? No, we lost. So we don't get hunt XP if no. we lose. No. Okay, good to know. Um. Okay, so we've got seven endeavors left. Yes. So we could transfer some hunt XP. And it's enough to get people aged, which is enough to start them with weapon proficiency. Yeah. Who has that? Uh, who has what? Four. Uh, sausage. Okay, so we might want to be careful bringing sausage back out, but for anything dangerous. Yeah. And because we have a character to guarantee. But he's also the Twilight Sword. Oh, I know. No, but for anything dangerous. So like hunting Gorm and stuff, I don't care. But if we're going against the Kingsman, he's not going. Yeah. Um, Let me just double check because I need to pull up the information on the um, the Kingdom Death page. I just want to double check that there's no limitations on it aside from spending. Um, like, can you can you nominate the same person multiple times? Mm. Like, you know, can you do it more than once? Like, what's the thing? It's a PDF, so it takes forever to load. Okay, so what else do we want to do with our endeavors right now? Um. Yeah, technically there's no requirement that you can just keep doing it. Okay, so... Okay. So you're probably going to take Sausage out next fight. Yes. Okay, Fruit Loops, I thought, died. Fruit Loops is dead, essentially. Yeah, Fruit Loops is dead. Oh, okay, we already had a character sheet written up. Uh, wait, did Fruit Loops die? No, Fruit Loops is not dead. Fruit Loops is retired. Oh, Fruit Loops retired. Uh, you might want to write that in next to the name, so we don't mess that up. Um... I still have Gravy. Gravy can now go back out. Okay. So I think I'm probably going to bring Gravy next match. Um, right. In place of uh, my continuing dying characters. Um, so I've got that covered. <laughs> Midnight suggests that you take uh, Sausage to the King's Knight fight. Oh no, no. That's just mean. We will wound on a 6+, plus and it would lose Cumbersome. Um, but yeah. Okay, so, um, oh, you can only use the matchmaker if you came back right. Yeah, from okay. the last uh, thing. Okay, so that wasn't clear on the sheet, so we can't... Yeah, it's not on the sheet, it's oh. in the description. Oh, no, my extra one endeavor came from him. No, it doesn't. No, I, we, we had six because of the two tinkers. Oh, we yeah. got the additional endeavor because Waffles oh, had right. her bold event. I keep forgetting. Okay. Uh, you need him again. Yeah, we could use him against the Kingman, Kingsman if we actually thought we had a chance of winning. <laughs> I think we're, I think we're not very hopeful on that, sadly. Um, good thing this isn't a Twitch play stream. They'd be killing everybody. Oh, did you mark our death count up one? Uh, no, I forgot. So. Okay. Okay, so what do we want to do? Do we want to... I think we want to, we have the one broken lantern. We have two broken lanterns. Oh, we do? Yes. Okay. So this I'll just consider part back in the settlement. Yeah, I mean, technically that's not 100% true. They aren't in the settlement storage, but I don't think it's going to matter right now. But okay. Now that we've passed the settlement event part. So we have two. Yeah. Um. Do we want to try some birthing? I mean, I think probably it'd be a good idea. Yeah. So who's going to who's going to get in the sack with Mira this time? Um, I don't know. Whoever it is, it doesn't really matter who gets in the sack with her because they can't die. Oh, they can't. No. Uh, do they have any potential to gain something? I always forget that. Survival. Uh, okay. So that is somewhat important. I'll send in gravy because gravy's empty. Okay. Um, I'm looking. Which card do we roll on for that? Uh, it is not... We roll on the augury. Oh, right, there it is. Okay, and Mira's rolling for this, and she's going? Yeah. Since it doesn't matter, she'll accumulate more... I mean, the only other thing is we could have Sausage roll to possibly gain more understanding. Or actually, let's have Gravy roll, since Gravy's going with. What? Why would we... 
Because don't we have to send whoever goes, whoever rolls on Augury? No. Oh, okay. This is intimacy. Ah. So the question is whether or not we want to try to pump sausage up to get the white secret. Oh, oh, he's close. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. I don't know what that's going to do and may kill him. But... Well, let's try it. Okay, so... I mean, we'll get the two probably if we keep going, which I think we're going to. Uh, we get an intimacy. Okay. So, so Gravy and Mira. Gravy and Mira. Sitting in a tree. K-I. Like... Don't forget to deduct the endeavor. Oh, thank you. Uh, nine and three. Or, well, Mira Gwent. So we can either have twins or we can have a savior. What is our pop at currently? Our pop is at 14. And do we get anything for more pop? I don't think so. No. Um, our, our population is currently, or excuse me, 13 because Waffles was exiled. Uh, or wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. Um, I think we're at 14, but one's retired. Fourteen. Yeah, we're at fourteen pop. The one can't go out. Um. I mean, the thing is, it might not be good. To... A, if we take a savior, their age goes up real fast. Yeah. And if their age goes up real fast, we can use them to pump other people with hunt XP. Good point. Also, if we happen to get a couple of saviors, we might be able to actually beat the Kingsmen with saviors. Yeah, it's a possibility at least. Yeah, so that. So, do we want to birthday savior then? Yes, let's start doing saviors. Okay. So. Our um, cat is snoring. <laughs> intimacy. Uh, yes, birth of a savior. On this day, everyone remembers the birth of a very special child. Where she steps, hope flourishes. Birth of a savior. The newborn vanishes from the loving arms of the settlement for a fraction of a second. In that second, it spends a lifetime in the domain of the ethereal dreamer and returns with a dream. Choose one. By the way, I'm amused. The loving arms of the settlement. It's like they assume that you chose protect the young because your chance of getting a savior is so shitty with survival of the fittest that they're basically like, just saying. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, what is the, this? Is coffee right? Uh, this is going to be Tang. Oh, Tang comes first. Okay. Yes. Dream of the Beast. Newborn gains one permanent red affinity in the following abilities. For each red affinity you have, one of your attack rolls hits automatically each attack. Ooh. Uh, you gain plus one's permanent strength with each age milestone. Green. When you depart, gain one armor to every hit location for every green affinity you have. In the aftermath, gain three additional hunt XP. You may now place other gear for gain plus one permanent evasion with each age milestone. Dream of the Lantern. Newborn gains plus gains one permanent blue affinity in the following abilities. For every blue affinity you have, your ranged weapons gain this amount of range, and your melee weapons gain this amount of reach. You may not place other gear, gain plus one permanent luck with each age milestone. Okay, so how much green affinities do you have on that one chart? I have three. three. Let's get um, the green savior. None of these are other gear, it looks like. So yeah, we could do the green savior, and then for the very limited amount of time that they'd be with us, we get a lot. What is it? They could basically tank the hell out of everything because they get plus three armor to every hit location. Uh, no, because that would there's an additional plus one here, so it's four. Holy crap! And if we got the full armor, leather armor set out of this next fight, that would put them at eight. Yeah. We could beat the Kingsman. <laughs> um. Oh. I found out that I always pick survival of the fittest after... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Face painting. Yep. Okay, so... Do we actually want to do that? Do the Dream of the Crown? Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. There is some argument that because it says she, that it always has to be a girl. Um, but... Nah, I say we have a choice, but let's make this a girl anyways. Okay. We're, yeah. Okay. Okay, and now uh, for our next roll, I say we spend an at least one endeavor on the settlement watch. See if we can get her the strength and or fighting art. Uh, yes. Okay, so I will roll for settlement watch. Okay. First spend an endeavor. That would be a guaranteed plus one strength. Okay, plus one strength. I don't think we want to risk rolling again for the fighting art. 
Okay. With the since we have the plus two. Yeah. How do we get that plus two again? Uh, because we, of Gorm Clement. Ah, uh, oh right. If we don't ever get the plus two, that was what we would probably use to try to pump a fighting arc. Yes. Okay, so now let's intimacy again. And try to pump that understanding. Alright. So, bye-bye Endeavor. Uh, that would be survival, I think. So, yes, gain a survival. That would be six. Okay, again. <laughs> That's another intimacy. I will roll this time. Okay, but we're still using Mira and... And Gravy. Okay. Uh, we have a six or seven. Okay, seven. The settlement gains plus one population, and since we have a bed, survivor gains plus one permanent... New survivor gains plus one permanent strength. Okay, so that would be... Coffee. Uh, <laughs> all white speakers are female as well. <laughs> Male or female. Um, male. Okay. I don't think it really matters. Survivors, if they're all female, that doesn't hurt. The s special ones. Yeah. Saviors. Saviors, not survivors. If all survivors are female, we're not going to last long. Yeah, we got some problems. Okay. So. Except for calling our uh, settlement a sausage fest. That wouldn't be the case. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it again. Well, I'm just rolling too damn high. Kind of funny. Yeah. Another one! We have a 9 or a 10. We could get another savior if we wanted to, yeah. or we can go for pre, uh, for a uh, twins. Let's do another savior. These okay. are sta saving up set when we do the Kingsman fight. Okay. okay, I have a... What does red squares do? Uh, reds turn into strength. Okay, let's oh, do... Wait, no. No, I'm wrong. Oh my god. For each red affinity you have, one of your attack rolls hits automatically each attack. Okay, let's do red. Okay. And I'll throw that on uh, whatever, whoever ends, this person will replace on it. We need a name. We need names. More names. So we'll hold off on the name. And female. Uh, plus one understanding. Savior. Oh, I should say green on this one and red on this one. Yep. Okay. Um, I, do we want to keep going for for those, or is there anything, or do we want to try to pump strength or fighting art into that new person? Uh, the other thing that we can do is pump some experience into somebody, because if we pump some experience into one of our new survivors, then they can select a weapon proficiency when they go out. Okay, pump an experience into gravy. Okay. That costs one, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so let's pump an experience into gravy. Gravy will age. Okay. Uh, and then I can take the cat cup bow as a proficiency and start building. Yes. Okay, so what do I roll? 2d10? And yes. add them? Yes. That would be nine. Uh, gain one random fighting arm. That's what I thought that was. And that leaves us with one, which I think we just roll on settlement watch to try to get the strength for the red. Mm. Sounds good. That would be a seven. That would be nine. Strength. So that's the strength. Cool. Okay. So that's now. Raspberry jam. Raspberry jam. Which is rather appropriate for the red savior. And I like raspberries. So there's that. Oh god. Sudden flashbacks to defense grid. Raspberries. Oh, and that was on raspberry jam was the plus one strength. Yep. Okay. And who's getting the fighting art? Uh. Gravy. The fighting art was gravy, yes. Okay. Oh. Uh, so we have two saviors. So actually, that gives me some confidence we might be able to take the Kingsman. Mm-hmm. That really helps, especially the guaranteed hits. Yeah. That'll help knock off his stuff. Okay, fighting art on gravy is Transcended Masochist. Okay, that. Oh, that is a really disturbing photo. Holy shit. Oh, wow, is that that disturbing as hell? Yeah, that's kind of disturbing. Um, 
<laughs> Good name, Charles Fox. Oh, he's trying to think something reddish looking. I briefly read that as reddish looking, which would have worked as well. Um, when you gain a bleeding token, gain a survival and an insanity. And you get to ignore the effects of a couple other disorders. He's also a leader. So he's a masochistic leader. Okay, then. So what's next? Um, well, we've used all of our endeavors, and I thought we did the crafting that we were planning on doing. Yep. Which means that now we prepare departing survivors, and we head out on a trip. To go fight a Gorn. Gorm, again. Yeah, we are not fighting a Gorm. Okay. So let's clean this off. Oh, we finally got symposium. Yeah, thank fucking god. Oh. Oh. What's this innovation just sitting here? Oh. The stoic statue? That should have been just here. Yeah, it's other. Or wait, it's no. Oh. That was, it came off the deck. So these were recorded, so they go back into the gorm. Oh, wait, this needs to flip. Yes. So, we do need to decide who is going out. I am taking omelette and gravy. Okay. I mean, I think I ought to take sausage, because, I mean, we need to use the, the Twilight Sword. Yeah, I agree. And this is a pretty easy fight for us at this point, so it'd be good, generally speaking, to try to level it. Yeah. Um, can you grab the Gorm from behind you? No problem. I grab every, like, uh, wait, isn't there a limit that you can only gain the fighting art if you've got no other fighting arts? That, oh, crap. No, 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 that was from aging. Oh, not this from, was from aging. Not from settlement trade. Yeah, like, that was a good catch. Wrong no. character. Yeah, we're, we're okay. That was not from settlement, uh, that was not from settlement watch. That was from, uh, gaining an age. age. Yeah, so, um, yeah, you can have up to three fighting arts. But good catch. It's always nice to have somebody when we're trying to run so much helping. Yeah. So on the first two. Okay. This one there. Uh, and then... Oh, he starts in the middle? Oh, wait, yeah. no. You just put him there for ease. Yeah. There we go. Hey, I'm starting to show up on the camera. It's an amazing concept. So there's... Well, I shouldn't have put him there because we need the basic hunt events. If you could grab those. Where are those again? Right there. And we need to deal out basic hunt events. They're just all the ladies. same, right? Yeah. So I don't need to, unless we have the tree. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to shuffle these. Uh, I'll take the book. Uh, the maid book? Yeah. Uh, and he starts where? Right here? Yeah. Four? Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, where's the monster controller? It goes over to gravy. I have trouble finding the other there. Ah, I just want to refine it. There we go. And are we good to go? Uh, yeah. Okay. So I've got omelet and gravy. Oh, I've got two males. <laughs> oh, I was planning on taking out a male too, so maybe That's... you shouldn't do that. No, we're fine. We have enough pop at this point. I'm not too worried. Okay. Well, yeah, but we just got more females, but... Yeah, okay. we, we can balance that out in the future. Okay, so, alrighty then, uh, we don't have any of that, we do have the reverberating We should make more it. figures. Yeah, I know. Especially now with some of our armor sets. Yeah, I just hate putting together the damn things. They're not, these aren't hard. Okay. These are only usually three or four pieces. Okay. Um, okay, so, are we good to go? Uh, yes. Oh, I, I need to so. update, yeah. Um, omelet. Oh, yeah, strawberry isn't coming. Because we may die during this, so... Though it seems like you die less now, which is good. I th feel like that was a good change. Oh, I do need to change this to the Twilight Sword. That's zero. That's zero. That's one. Still cat gut bow. No bleed. Not almost dead. On everything. And I have one waste armor still. Yeah, I think we're going to get the white Knight or the white line armor for the last person, unless we want to hunt the antelope instead. 
That might not be a bad option. Oh, what should I do? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we're updating. <laughs> um, oh, how much survival do we get to party? Uh, total. Because that's important for gravy. Yes. Um, Amelie is going to be max, just if nothing else, because of his uh, rawhide armor. One from Lantern Oven. Um, one from Ammonia. And one from Hubble. So okay. you get three base. Okay. Just for departing. Gravy was empty, so that puts Gravy at three. Uh, gravy doesn't have any uh, stuff to improve that? Nope. Okay. I'm perfect hit now. Uh, oh, but only if I wield the Bone Dagger. That only counts if I actually use the Bone Dagger. Which I'm probably not going to use much. Um, mm. I've got two Insanity. I've got the one Waste Armor. Did I mark that at? Yep. And he's got the leader, so when he stands, he gets a speed token when he encourages. Yeah. Good. And then I've got, still over there, the one strength, two evasion. Um, got the luck with either the blind beast guitar or the fist and tooth. Thought he got something else. No, we didn't do that. Okay. Okay, I think we're all good to go. Um, can't do the knuckle shield. Yeah, I'm just because I think it makes more sense to make him tankier. Yeah, I'd agree since he has the sword. Yeah. So, which means I had to switch my garment stuff over here and shoot waste. I guess. Yeah, that's a good call. So that makes him significantly tankier. Okay. So okay. Foot sausage and an evasion of two. Sanity of 15. <laughs> oh shoot, what about Skull Helm? Can you drop the. Oh no, you need the third uh, green link, right? I guess I'm just going to have to drop the Knuckle Shield. I was kind of hoping to give him the Knuckle Shield because yeah. of the block, but honestly. You need that Skull Helm. Yeah. Um, what do the three green links do for him right now? Uh, he has plus two evasion total instead Ooh. of just plus one evasion. Oh, right. That's nice. Yeah. Um, hold on. Oh, because you've got the monster grease. Yeah. So you've got, yeah, okay. When does the Hooded Knight come around? The Hooded Knight comes up in two more years. And we're still technically Lantern Year 7 now, right? No, we're Lantern Year 8. Oh, okay. Uh, let me update that. Accuracy is now 8. And strength is 9. My sausage. Um. Okay. So, should I start the first event? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Our first event. Flatter Earth. I think we did this one before. Yes. The did. survivors lose their quarry's trail in a field of stone faces so badly crushed by the passing Gorm hams that nothing remains but a carpet of fine pebbles. Eight. Distracted. Move the Gorm one space away from the survivors on the hunt board. Um, oh, if I rolled a 9+, plus, that would have been nice. Mm -hmm. Would have gotten a founding stone. Okay, oh, wow. so. Okay. You get... Mating fields. Oh. Ahead, the ground is covered in mounds of foul-smelling corrosive vomit. Any of the survivors may choose to investigate. Each that does gains plus one courage and rolls on the table. Uh, if none of us investigate, then we, um, get a random hunt event. Okay, so what, so, what are the odds? Uh, 30% event damage to the legs. Um. How much? Just one? One. Okay. Uh, 50% brain event damage. One. Okay. Uh, 20% gain a random Gorm resource. I'm rolling. Yeah, I'm We rolling. need the, okay, so omelet. Eight. 
Uh, that is brain event damage. Oh, damn. So close. Sausage. Where's my pencil? One. Legs damage. Oops. Yeah, we need those Gorm resources. It's worth it. Unfortunately, that was just one insanity. So... And now I'm going to roll on gravy. Four. That is brain event damage. Okay, that drops into one. So please remind me that sausage needs to be bold. Why is bold? Because I need the, the manual when we're done with this so that oh. I can ha have the bold event. Oh, sausage. I can read that. Uh, brain event damage on chicken fried stick. Aw. Bold. Bold. Um... Choose triumph corresponding with the game phase. What's your game phase? Or hunt. hunt. Stalwart, right? Or no. Um, uh, prepared. Expect yeah. the unexpected. You are prepared to face any mind-bending trials at a moment's notice. When others may falter, you forge ahead, meeting the journey head-on. Gain the following ability and roll on the table below. You are prepared. When rolling to determine a straggler, add your hunt experience to the result. Roll d10. Four. Uh, gain one understanding. Oh, I am now one short of the white secret. Ooh. Watch, if we get the white secret event and he leaves the fucking settlement. Yeah, probably. Yep. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Oh. oh my god, I'd kill for that. I would seriously kill for that. <sighs> okay. Oh god, ten Gorm resources? That's half the deck. Okay. That would pretty much guarantee us that freaking handed skull we need. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's half the deck? No. Okay, where's the white die? Here you go. Roll your random hunt event. 58. I think we did this, but then again, I think we've done them all at this point, and no. I know we haven't. No, we have not. Scent on the wind. A strong wind blows, bringing with it the sense of uh, distant places and things. Uh, vent revealer rolls on the table. Okay, what's the roll? D10. One. Am I dead? Um, the monster catches your scent. It moves one place closer. If it reaches you, start the showdown and ambushed. Nope. By the way, the, the thing's one further away. Oh yeah, thank you. Um, if you had rolled a six plus, um, we may skip the next hunt space. And we could have ambushed him. Oh, well. Unless we have Noisy Bear. Uh, I think we probably have Noisy Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, shoot. What? Uh, I think before entering the hunt space, we need a reverberating lantern. Yeah, go ahead. So, Sonorous Rest. I need, I need Insanity. Okay. But what are the options again? <laughs> I think green allows you to gain a... Whoa, lantern. you bastard! He rolled a 9 plus on that event that gave the resources. Oh, man. With all four people. So, rest is gain plus two survival, plus one survival for each green affinity. Okay. Uh, tune is plus three insanity, gain an additional plus one insanity for each blue you have. Okay, and then what was the... I thought there was a third option. No. Uh, we have not innovated storytelling. Okay, so I'll get three insanity on... Wait, three plus one for each blue? Uh, yes. Okay, so I get four on omelet and... Three on gravy, that puts them both at four total. I am going to technically take the survival on sausage because 15 insanity is a little bit too much. In my yeah, opinion. it sounds like a good idea. Uh, I like having a little bit of insanity though. Yes, okay, and then we encounter the goal. Okay. Alrighty then. Here, you can have this back. Thank you. Oh. Man, you lucky bastard. Seriously. I know! The I... odds of that are so low. Yeah, apparently he rolls better than I do. Oh, that doesn't take much, Mal. Yeah, that's fair. I'm sorry to say. Oh. Sorry to say, man. But it's true. Oh, you don't have to be sorry. It is just absolutely true. Okay, so we need two random terrains. Uh, yes. Take out a tall grass terrain first. Okay. There's tall grass. And then... Yes. And then I need Welcome to our new viewers. As always, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to pop them at us. In addition, um, check out our streams. In addition to Kingdom Death Monster, we're doing Pandemic Legacy. 
Uh, you'll be seeing a lot of that coming up. I'm going through the uh, hell. We have almost we have ten videos total. Oh so, my god! So I've got eight more that I'm editing right now to put up, and most of those should be up in the next two weeks. Um, and then it'll be uh, two videos every two weeks or one a week based on how I end up putting them up. Um, and I should be starting sometime this next week doing some streaming from HoloLens because we have a HoloLens. Um, it's just going to be some general stuff showing some of the apps available and stuff like that. I'll do one probably a week. Um, and then as we start doing some development on it, I hope to put up a little bit more. Um, so we've got a while probably before that thing hits consumer. So we're so Forged by Geeks is taking its sweet time <laughs> learning and all that kind of stuff, but it's fun. Um, with 15 Insanity Sausage needs the Immortal Disorder. No shit. Yeah. Too bad that's on the dead character, Strawberry. The only problem is, is that uh, he does have the Twilight Sword. Oh yeah. Sentient, so he has to be insane to activate it. That's why I gave him that much insanity, like basically taking it prioritized. Because, like, seriously, like if he's not insane, he's screwed. Okay, we get debris and more tall grass. Nice. So that's that's not bad. So we have four tall grass and debris. The debris is the one where you can get knocked down. Or get a random basic resource, or a bone blade, or a scrap sword. That's nice. Yep, while you build that, I will be right back. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to go after that debris. I am feeling munchy, so I'm grabbing our goldfish. Oh. Would you like some? Sure, I'll take some goldfish. Okay, I'll split them into two bowls so we don't keep crinkling. Yeah, it makes sense. I wonder if they can hear this crinkling from like halfway across the room. I know they can hear me. Because we've tested that. And I have to remember that sausage is messed up. Do you have a drink? Uh, I wouldn't mind having another do. You want to do? Okay. Yes, please. God, I'm so disappointed how badly we got eaten alive by the freaking lion knight. Yeah, that was pretty I was hoping to do slightly better than that. I mean, like, <laughs> seriously, that's just... But that, I have to say, I would agree with, uh, was it Mad Knight? That that midnight. was one midnight. That that's one of the funnest fights we've done. That was that was a lot of fun. Well, it changes it up a lot. Yeah, it, it's a very interesting fight. It's one I want to do again, honestly. Mm -hmm. Except it'll be level two next time, right? Yeah, and we're gonna get our we're gonna get our sweet tails handed to us. See, we just need a new game plus. Can you give me that uh, napkin back behind your laptop? There you go. Thank you. Where's my game? I'm getting. Give me a moment. Are you still setting up? Um, hit location and AI deck are up, so I think we're good. Oh, did you already shuffle the hit location deck? Yeah. Shuffle it again. Yeah. <laughs> because I sure as hell ain't letting you do it. Yeah. Yeah. Was it Charles or Midnight that commented on that? Uh, what? That I shouldn't shuffle. They watched Charles. Our, that was Charles that watched our pandemic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, usually we do sleeve our cards in games. Uh, for example, I sleeved all of Thunderstone. Uh, we really want to sleeve these. One problem is these little square cards that you see. There's uh, information online. Yeah, I found that they're... Well, no, uh, Mayday's actually now making sleeves for this. Hmm. So uh, at least I heard. Or there's ones that you just have to trim the top. And with, with our massive commercial paper cutter we use for making board games, that's really easy. It's just line up, shink. <laughs> the biggest problem is, is that the... Um... The, whatchamacallit, yeah, because the, the, you only get the terrain when he gets to level two. There's oh. terrain on the board in level two. Um, yeah, the, um, the problem is, is that somebody was saying that sleeves were sold out. They were like, uh, I want to sleeve my stuff, but I can't buy it. I bet we can find them. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we should do that, and I can sleeve them one of these days. When I'm just sitting there and my brain's completely dead from looking at uh, Photoshop for too long. Okay. okay, so we need four tall grass and a debris. Oh, right. Duh. That's what you were talking about with, like, getting this stuff out. Four tall grass. Okay, and I believe there two of those are fixed based on the chart. Yes. I will show it to you in a moment. There's your debris. Okay, the debris has to be set up on a board edge. And this is the showdown setup, so... Okay. Uh, 
greens are kitty corner. Yep. And then these have to be, I think we had this last time, so these have to be at least four away from each other. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to do them completely kitty corner. Mm -hmm. And then the debris we have to put on a board edge. So what's the risk of the debris? Uh, the risk is knocking down, finding nothing, getting a random basic resource, getting a bone blade, or getting a scrap sword. I'm going to put that here and somebody can start right next to it. Um, yeah. So. I think, what's the range on our. So chicken fried steak has no, has, he cannot advance weapon proficiency. So even though he has the right mace and that's awesome and everything. He's not high enough to advance it. Yeah. So. Let's have him grab it first. Okay. So chicken fried steak is brown. Okay. And sausage is yellow. Okay, I think I'm going to also pop uh, omelet here in the back. Oh, wait, no, we want flanks. Three, four, five, six, so we have to be six away. Let's... But note he's going to move first. He, he goes first. Oh, he does? Yes. Oh, so we need to group up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so six away, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Right there, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. And then gravy is my archer. I think I'm going to put them here. So the gravy, I think I'm going to pop, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right there with plans of shooting. Yeah, so the thing is, is that ideally we want him to end next to sausage. Or whose sausage? This. Okay, here. that would be great. So it does unfortunately mean the chicken fried steak is going to be... Okay, so I'll go here then, because then I can run up to his flank. Okay. After he turns and faces sausage. Okay. Um, all right. So I think everything's set up. Okay. Does he have the monster card or does it go to me? I think, I mean, if we're doing it by the event revealer yeah. thing, I think technically it goes to you. Okay. So first AI card. There you go. Yeah, we want to do a level two, but we can't take his mood things or his starting things at this point. He, the plus one damage and everything would just be too bad for right now. Oh, great. They're back in stock. Oh, Mage Wonderful. Company makes... Sleeves for the gear cards, and they're back in stock. Yeah, we should just order a bulk, maybe uh, tonight, before mm -hmm. we head out. We're going out to see uh, Independence Day 2. In insurgents, man. I just called two. Okay. Thunderfoot, mood. When this comes into play, draw another AI. This is the three-square zone all around him. Any survivor that ends their act in the stomping zone suffers knockback five and is knocked down. This goes away when he's wounded. Okay. So we're going to have to get rid of that quick. Yeah. Okay. Next we have Eat and Run. Random threat facing in range. No fit and threat and facing. Um, closest threat in field of view. So we have our choice. Uh, yes. So who's better to take the whack? So Sausage can take the whack. There's Okay. So there. how many hits is it? It's two, two plus, two damage. And after damage is dealt... Uh, more than if attack damage is dealt more than once, move uh, full move the Gorm forward in a straight line and perform grab. We okay. don't have to worry about that because we can dodge. Yeah, and the other thing is, is that okay? What I want to do is have an attack chicken fried steak. Okay, so that's the reason the brown. why is because that's brown, right? Yeah, and chicken fried steak is gonna surge and block. Oh, great! And then you can dodge the other one if it misses. Yes. So first, I should roll the two attacks. Both would hit. Okay. And, or what's your evasion? My evasion is zero. Okay, who ha what's the evasion on the person with the just plus two? Uh, yes. And I have plus two on omelet. So those two characters are four pluses for stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Like, how many how many hits is? Like, uh, what's the damage to it? Uh, two. Okay, then I'm going to dodge the other one. Okay. So that is two survival, but I block the first hit and dodge the second hit. Uh, can you spend two survival? Yes, they just have to be different actions. I surged and then I dashed. Okay, good to know. I think that I can do that. <laughs> Midnight probably knows. God, you're Midnight so... knows everything. I know, no shit. This is fucking awesome. It's nice having a rules lawyer watching. I actually appreciate that term. I consider her a rules lawyer. That bugs me, OCD. The grass was not all facing the same way. It just says survival actions, so yeah. Okay. We can do it. So that so is yeah. done? All right. So now we go. Oh, that was an advance guard. Okay. So, chicken fried steak is not going first. 
because if yep. he does, then it would trigger Thunderfoot. Twilight Sword's unlikely to hit. Um, would you agree? Uh, it hits on an 8 or higher, so I have a 30% chance of hitting. Yeah. Oh, this is hard. It would knock him back if he fails, right? Uh, but yeah. if you succeed, he may jump back, spew, and you wouldn't get to use it. So I'd say let's go for it. Or actually, before you go for it, I am going to encourage you. Okay. That gives you plus one speed token. I can't. I have to be frenzied. Oh, you do? Work. Okay, never mind. I could right now frenzy. Um, HRLP design has one of the people that helped design it as a regular viewer. Oh, wow. That's oh, nice. that's pretty fucking awesome. Wish they'd follow me. Okay. Hey. So, if I sh I'm standing there right now. Correct. Uh, no, I can't do it because it's my turn. Damn it. Oh, well. It's probably the Twitch Plays one is my bet. So, yeah. I can either try to hit it once, possibly get knocked back, and all that kind of stuff. I think it's worth the shot just because we need to get that. Okay. So, you have a 30 I mean, it doesn't deal any damage. It's just knocked back and knocked down. So, yeah. whatever. Yay! Perfect hit. And you just default do enough. Uh, I still have to roll. Oh, well, one... And you still have to look at the, the hit location. Oh, yeah. Will one miss? No. Yes, yeah, so one still misses. Even one on strength? always misses. Even on strength? Always misses. Okay. Always. Oh. Does not matter. I did not fail. It was not a critical. So, the AI card goes in. This and goes there. mark for your proficiency. And yes, I will get the proficiency, which will mean it will lose cumbersome, which will be awesome. Uh, I thought you have to get up to three. No, there's a lot of argument about this. I I ascribe <laughs> to the principle that it would not say two on the card if it did not mean proficiency level two. I think it supersedes all of the proficiency stuff. That is my personal opinion. Okay. And so... I will argue that with Poots. Oh my god. We're going to see Poots at Big Kingdom Death at the con. We could ask him questions. I think that'd be rude. Why would it be rude? We'll be too busy buying copies of Kingdom Death to flaunt on eBay. No, we are not. <laughs> we are not doing that. Okay, so I think I'm going to jump in and flank him and try to get my uh, piston tooth. Oh, um, one thing is, is that at the end of my act, I may move one space because I have the leather boots licked up. So, uh, yeah. Or yeah. actually, wait, is it one space out? No, go one to the side. Okay. That you'll still get hit potentially if he jumps back, but you're closer to if he keeps jumping. Yeah. Because oh yeah. wait, you don't have to worry about the twilight sword anymore. Well, yeah, but I don't have any other weapons in my thing because I needed the oh. damage just in the reverse. Yeah. Okay, then just stay there. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move up and whack him from the flank with my uh, fist and two. Oh shoot! I need to keep remember that. What? Uh, he was next to it, so I'm just going to do it. Oh, we can't, because I already damaged it. He has Analyze. If he's next to the monster, then I look at the top AI card at the start of the, the round. But that went in here. So yeah. I, I mean, I guess... No. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can look at it. What is it? Is Backslap, it... it's a basic. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do my Fist and Tooth, which is 2 speed, 7 plus for me. And uh, I have a total of plus 2 strength on it. Okay. One hit. Spongy leg bone. Flank, gain two strength. Woo! So plus four strength, he's eight, right? Uh, yes. So four plus. Four. Okay. If you meet Adam at Gen Con, drop down and worship at his feet. <laughs> Who's Adam? Poots. Oh, that's his first name? Yeah. Oh, I've only ever heard Poots. <laughs> okay, so now we don't have Thunderfoot anymore. So actually, before you even should have done that, but I don't care. Uh, debris. Okay. So I'm going to try to scavenge. Hold on. Do we have scavenger kit? No. Okay. Seven. Um, find nothing. Oh. I saw that in the fact. It doesn't actually have seven on it, but he considers that nothing happened. Oh, but no, but it also doesn't archive the terrain, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, whatever. Okay, so um, is he within six of me? Yes. So I'll plunk him with the bow now. Okay. Two hits. Watch me draw trap. No, I'm the one who's drawing the cards, so. Uh, Mammoth Crowded Fangs 
or mammoth rear club foot. <laughs> club foot. Sorry. <laughs> club foot. <laughs> now, question. If he performed wretch and jumped back to but was still within range of me, would I still be able to shoot him? I think so. Okay. I don't think it's going to change it unless you change the range. Okay, well, I'm going to use the mammoth crowded fangs first because I might get a gourd resource. Mm -hmm. Um... So I need, I'm at four, so I need four plus to damage. Okay. Six. So that's a damage. Blink. And another damage. But he wretches. Jumps back and one, one damage to random hit location, ignoring armor on the two of you. Okay. So let's take yellow dude. That's the uh, twilight sword. Yep. Two feet. Or legs. Legs. Legs damage. And head. Head damage. Boom, 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 oh, boom, boom. Head damage. Uh, he's knocked down. Oh. But he gets up again? You'll never keep him down? Yeah, something like that. Okay, so the head damage. Oh, wait, no, they both get knocked down. Because if it ignores armor, it just goes right through. It it's only down. one damage. Yeah. No, head one was damage. head, one was legs. Oh, the other one was legs. Okay, sorry, I'm bad. I'm bad. Okay. <laughs> Eat damage. Oh, these are good goldfish. Yeah, they're pretty. Sour tasty. cream and chives. All right. I don't mind vomit so much. Okay, so that's that. So move the monster controller. Oh, did I hit? I hit with this and two. So I can mark that I will get that. And I hit with bow, right? Yes. There we go. Just All marking, right. I'll get the weapon proficiency. Buddy check. Oh, wait. You needed to move the monster controller, and this is actually being done by Gravy. Yes. Sorry. No problem. Random survivor in range. That would be all of us. So, Omelet is a nine. And a nine. Uh, <laughs> that would be chicken fried steak, then. Chicken fried steak, which is down. Rink. That's actually convenient. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, t -t -t speed one, after damage, bash and knock back seven. Mm -hmm. So you can dodge this, right? Uh, yes. You, uh, that's a hit. So speed, I can dodge that. And it'd be waste. Mm, how much damage? Uh, but just one. Bash and knock back. And you want to get the uh, corpse or debris. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, yes. Vomit would be terrifying at level three. I'll give you that. Yeah, even at level one. No, two. that'd be three damage ignoring armor. True. Uh, uh, yeah. At level two, it'd still be pretty bad, but level three, yeah, that would be terrifying. Okay. So that's the end of the turn. He was knocked down beforehand because he got vomited on. Okay, let's have him loot. Well,. If I go over here, then you're still in. Own, you're still in. Oh, uh, it's four. This is terrible. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do it beforehand. Yep, and then possibly run away. Yeah, if I don't get knocked down. Knocked and down. nothing. Nothing. Find nothing. It stays. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Away. Yeah. I want to be out of the damn vomit zone. Yep, and then you can always go back and get it. All right, I'm gonna go after the with the twilight sword again. Okay. Since I can't chase the bastard down. Yep. Uh, that would be a hit. Woohoo! Now d that doesn't go up the proficiency until the end of the fight. You no, know, you don't get weapon proficiency until the aftermath. Oh, the death blow. Yeah, we ain't getting the death blow. But it would have crit if we had a crit location. Aww. Oh, Wasting God. your crits! Yeah, well, too bad. Get it first. <laughs> okay. You can move one, right? No. Cumbersome. Huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can move one. There we go. Okay, so now I will attack. Because with... of the leather boots, that's why I can do it. Yep, now I'm attacking with omelet. One hit. Oh, wait, uh, just for a note, uh, since I got the fist and tooth done, I would have been switching to the Lion Beast guitar. Thank you for stating that. Yeah, so let me update that here. They're both the cha same chance to hit. 
The main difference is I get a little bit more strength out of YMD's guitar. Mm -hmm. So, its location is Mammoth Distended Gut. Don't fail. Okay, so this still has the plus one luck. With my strength, I have four, so I need a four plus, I think. Yeah, no shit. Nope. You failed. Yep. And as a result, bleh. Don't jump him back more than he has to go, man. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to shoot him with a bow. Once. Okay. Super dense. No problem with the bow. Yep. Uh, yep. And damage. Okay. So now monster controller. Can he get proficiency? No. Okay. That's why we selected him. The only problem is technically he has a deadly weapon, but. Okay. Strobe. Turn to face the most survivors, then in target all survivors in the monster's facing. Okay. Um. Put down. Uh, brain damage and knockdown. How much? Uh, just one brain damage. Okay, knock us both down. Uh, no, it's roll of three plus. So who, oh. yours, it's your bow person, right? Yep. That is yes. And for sausage, also, brain damage and knockdown. Yay! Oh, look, he's not at 15 insanity anymore. <laughs> Let's not have 145. <laughs> okay, so check the thing again. Uh, so he is next to the monster. Who? Uh, sausage. Which means I can look at the top AI card. Um, but you're knocked down. He has to be on his turn, right? It has to. At the start of the survivor's turn, if you are adjacent to the monster. Okay. If I'm remembering correctly. With your insanity, it will not matter. <laughs> no, not really. Insight. Yeah, if you're adjacent to the monster, it says shit about whether or not you're knocked down or not. Eat and run. Okay. We don't want this. What? We don't? No, it sucks. It's gut grab. Okay. So first, let's get your debris. Yep. And do you want to stand yourself up, or... I can try with omelet, but I can only stand up one. Uh... I'll stand you up. Stand me up? Or uh, No, stand up yourself. Yeah, I'll stand up sausage. Okay. So he looks into the thing. I don't think there technically is an upper limit of insanity, except for the fact that if you face the screaming antelope with too much, you're screwed. Yeah. You just run into the darkness too. Find nothing. This is becoming a trend, and I really want that bonus basic. Yeah. We can do some more hide. Okay, so... Should, should I hit first so he doesn't land on me when he retches? Or should you hit first since you're next to him? I, if he retches, I will not be able to hit him. I'll try. Okay. Just because. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I will stand myself up. I mean, or we could just have Sausage move his happy ass out of the way because we don't really want him. I mean, in we fact, don't want we can... We could move him over and start searching the debris train with him instead. Good call. But that'll be next turn. So yeah, get him out of there. Two, three, four, five. And now I'll roll for my uh, stand-up check. And I get to keep my survival. Okay. And now I will whack with my Lion Beast guitar. Twice. <laughs> More than 9,000? Yes, I'm a DVZ fan, <laughs> sadly. Okay, so I think since I'm on the flank, I'm going to hit the tail first. Okay. Um, I get plus two strength. Mm -hmm. So that puts me at three, four, five, six. So I need a two plus to wound. Okay. <laughs> I get a two. <laughs> oh, we got rid of that advance card. And now Mammoth Maw. Let's make him puke. Nope, I miss. So nothing happens. Okay. So now your bow person can go. Uh, am I outside of puke range? I think so. 
If he, yeah, because he's going to jump back if he pukes. Okay. Two hits. Yeah, this is far too easy, but the problem is, like, the difference. Until you hit the trap. He runs up to my bow person, and I suffer one damage to head location. Oh, you hit the trap? Yeah. So can you move him up to the bow? Um, one damage to head. So I take heavy damage. I fall down. And then he turns to face the most survivors. <laughs> All three of us, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, each survivor in the monster's facing is knocked down and suffers one brain damage. We're all knocked down. It's a happy knock down party. Yes. This is where having mastery of the uh, distant tooth would come in handy. All right. Okay. So he's just going to go again. Mm -hmm. That was the trap. Oh, right. So now we're all knocked down. So yeah, now he goes. <laughs> it's not like he goes twice. Good catch. Uh, so we need to move this, right? Yep. Uh, Thunderfoot. Ah, oh, crap. Body check. Random survivor in range. So that would be everybody but Chicken Fried Steak. What's his movement? Six? Yeah. Okay. Chicken Fried Steak is not in range. Nine and nine. Four. Oh, wait. Chicken Fried Steak is not in range, which means he goes after sausage, right? One, yeah. One, two, three, four. Uh, speed one. Accuracy 2, damage 1. Uh, he has evasion, though, so... You can't dodge head damage? Yeah, you can't dodge the oh. head damage from the trap. But it's the only thing where you... No, it says you can't dodge... He's saying you can't dodge head, da and, uh, dodge head damage at all. Yes, you can. Oh, you can? Okay. You can't dodge it if it's not applicable. So, 5 is... Actually still hits him. I am not currently unable to um, dodge. Dodge? No, I can dodge. Okay. So, so you probably just want to dodge that. Yeah, I'm gonna dodge it. And now we all stand up. Yep. Okay. Why don't you? Oh, that went after sausage, so he gains an insanity too. Oh, nice. <laughs> As if he needs it. I uh, maintain that high rating of insanity. Where's the? Oh, um. Which said that we can't dodge the head damage? He did. Which said? That's the confusing thing. Oh, right. Um, well, the trap, I think he was saying. Yeah, but the thing is, is that the trap doesn't, it doesn't matter whether or not you're doomed on the trap, because the, the actual survivor is doomed regardless. Mm, okay. Okay, so, so our turn? Yeah, I guess. You might want to try to grab that with uh, Twilight Sword Dude. I'd run around its side. Okay, so Twilight Sword Dude attempts to grab something. You've been rolling like shit on these. Yeah, but he's out of the range anyway. Might as well use your other guy. Yeah. We're running low on AI cards. Four. That gets it. What? Yeah. We'll gain one random basic resource and archive this screen. Okay, then. Four? Yeah. That's so freaking weird. Yeah, seven and three or less were the problems. Okay. Anything outside of that was what you wanted. Uh, why do I have an upside down card? Okay. <laughs> okay, what I said is that you are not doomed on the Gorm's trap, but you can't dodge the head damage it does on the trap card. Mm. So in theory, you can dash away from his trap. Hmm. Might have to look that up. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. That would be that would make some sense with the nature of the Gorm, but But they actually said like at one point Poot said that like it was useless putting uh it Doom on Doom on traps. Yeah, but I mean if it hit ends the attack early enough that Maybe it has a continuation arrow? Possibly. So that's what does I it? I don't think it does though. Okay. In any case, it doesn't matter. We gain a monster bone. That's not I a bad one. Yeah, a monster bone. Okay, um, hold on one second, muting for a sec. Are you going to be running anything or? No, I'm just getting some pickles. Okay. 
Okay, we're back. We're just checking something. Um, okay, so... You guys can go. Oh, right. Um, I'm going to start with the bow, since he might jump back. Okay. Two hits. They're actually rolling decently. What the I hell know. Happened? Except for... Our, well, yeah. Oh, shit. What? Thunderfoot. This is our first... Oh, but you ended your turn. Both, yeah, both, both of them get knocked back. How knocked much? Knocked down and knocked back. Five. Uh, wait, no, just, yeah, knock back and knock down. So, yeah, five and knock down. Our bad. Oops. Mute did not work. This doesn't work. I'm muted right now. Just checking. And now we're back. I'll wait, we'll see if we have another comment. Sometimes that button doesn't work. That'd be good to know. Oh, yeah, that would be really bad. Okay. okay. Um, but we, there's other ways we can mute um, if we end up having to. Um, it's worked on all of our other videos when I've gone through, but we did just rewire it. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so I have Mammoth Wrinkled Elbow. He would do a basic action on the attacker or Mammoth... You could hear all of it. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Um, it might not have reinstalled correctly on the new, uh, port. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I think I'm going to start with the Mammoth Tail just because it doesn't uh, make him run at me and attack. Mm -hmm. So I'm at, I keep forgetting, uh, I need a 4+. Plus. And that's a damage. Okay. Oh, wait, this goes in there because you damaged him. Yep, and you take out a card. Did you? Yeah, go? I already moved okay. the card. Don't worry. And the next one. Oh, I miss. Failure. He performs a basic action against the attacker. What is okay. that? Okay. Move, move and attack. Uh, speed of two. Accuracy of two plus. Full hit. And then we're going to get uh, body and legs. How much damage? Uh, one. Body and legs. I will just take both. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, very appreciated. That that could be very embarrassing if uh, it was a less ideal moment. <laughs> okay, where are those? Body and legs. So, okay. There we go. Card. And now, omelet. We'll move up to the side. And I don't need to stand you up. So, uh, he will... How many cards does he have left? Two. Okay. After I attack, I could surge before his turn, right? Uh, you can surge during his... Um, you could surge... There's a time when you could surge on his turn before he would take any... It would do any... He would do anything. But I can surge on my turn as well. I don't think so, because you can't surge on your own turn. Oh, you can't? I don't think so. Okay. You hear everything! No, you can't surge in the middle of an attack, sorry. Okay. Um, that's the problem. I'm being completely... Okay, so I could surge on my turn. Yeah, I think so. You can surge on any of those arrows. Yeah, but that's different. But you don't have any arrows, right? So... Yeah. No, but during his turn. Yes. Now, when does that reset for a round? His turn or mine? His turn is the start of the... Round? Yeah. So if I surge now, I could surge again during his. I think so. Okay. I'm wondering if I can basically Being kill. so technical about this stuff. Yeah, so first my basic attack. Uh, one hit. And we get Mammoth Crowded Fangs. Yeah. I get the plus two damage. So two plus. And I damage him. Barely. Again. So I'm rolling like crap, but it doesn't matter. You're rolling fun on your freaking hit rolls. Fair. So now I can surge. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, don't forget to deal the one damage. Okay, so now I'm surging. I lose my uh, survival. Okay. I'm just trying to finish him off at this point. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now I'm going to attack again. And I miss. Okay. So it's his turn. All right. Final AI card. Body check. Random survivor in range. Okay, that's my two guys. Mm-hmm. That would be my archer. One, two plus. 
He misses. Wow. Okay. Okay. So you stand up. Yep. And I will whack him from the flank again. All right. Or wait, I oh wait, I can surge in my own turn anyways. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna tap. No hits. I'm going to surge. I get to keep it. Keep okay. survival. Then attack again. One hit. And he's about to spew all over my archer. Yeah, there's nothing you can do to stop that. I need four plus. Well, unless you fail. I don't. Blah. All right. So what does that deal damage in? Just one? one random hit location that ignores armor. Okay. Body. Okay, I will... You can't dodge. Oh, I can't? Mm -mm. I get knocked down. My archer. Yes. Can you knock him down? There we go. Um, yeah, sometimes they do work in my favor. <laughs> so, sausage will encourage Okay. Her. And she gets back up. Yep. Yeah, never going to keep her down. And do you want to try to run up? Just run up straight five? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. And she'll try plunking with the bow. One hit. Needle Perfect pl hit, no less. Needle I like how you're about to start rolling. Like, you oh, think it's going to fucking work. Oh, crap. I can't switch to the founding stone. No. Damn it. You can't switch after you roll. Jeez. I know. Ain't going to freaking happen. Oh, I want... Lard? No. Active thyroid. Oh, that would have been nice, but... Oh, I could still get the crit. Yep. Come on. Oh, if it had been an lucky, omelet. But you're not lucky. Nope. And he's dead. Yep. Oh. No extra resources for us. Ah, here you go. Okay. So let's clear our characters. What are you looking? Nicole? No. I don't think no. You're it it they said that the trap does not matter if you are doomed. Like uh, it basically, yeah, it cancels all the attacker's hits and ends their attack, but it doesn't it doesn't work that way because he specifically said on other traps that it doesn't matter if you're doomed. Uh that it didn't matter if you put doomed on it. So there we go. Okay, so that's out. Um, we all gain a hunt XP. Yes. We gain hunt XP, weapon proficiency if applicable. Yep. So Twilight Sword finally loses Cumbersome. Thank you, God. And is now 7 plus. And, and chicken fried steak ages. Oh, sweet. So we need 2d10. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that would be 13, being a random fighting arc. Aw. Yep. Up. Okay, and we need basic resources. I'm not sure I'm going to let you pick, man. I'm going to pick fucking wardrobe expert again. <laughs> what? You don't like wardrobe expert? No. I mean, look, it has its positives. Like, if I died at waste, I'd consider, like, dropping my cloth for it. But... Mm -hmm. And I mean the Skull Helm. You have Wardrobe Expert, you can basically toss it for a, uh... Because mm -hmm. you're going to lose it anyways. But, in general, it's a pretty shitty, uh... Oh, crap. Fighting art. So, let's hope for that, uh, Skull. Stealth Vertebrae. Mammoth Hand. Ooh, that's a good one. Jiggling Lard. And Dense Bone. God damn it! We can't... That sucks. Yeah. We didn't even get any stout hide. Nope. Damn it! The most common thing! <laughs> so you're saying sliced bread is shit. <laughs> okay, so from this side we get Broken Lantern, Monster Hide, Monster Hide, and Monster Bone. Okay. Good! Alrighty then. To go with our spare... Ooh, we got the two Monster Bones. Nice. Okay, let's pull these down. God, I can't 
Luckily, we didn't get a bloody stout hide. And still pulling out your fighting art. Oh, all we needed was two stout hides. Just denied. And the skull. We need the skull, too. I know. But, but if we'd at least gotten, like, either the skull or the two stout hides, I would have been happier. Yeah. But I believe we can do something with that hand. I'll have to look it up. Oh, uh, knuckle shield, which we don't really need another one of. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, it is an any. Yeah. So I, I, get, I can't say, yeah, it is an any. That Demp's phone we might want to keep at this point. Yeah. Because we could possibly make a gra greater gax with it or whatever. Actually, I think we can just make that. What, the greater gax? Yeah, we got the dense bone and jingling lard. Mm. Hmm. You got one stout hide with the ten gorm. <laughs> uh, two attacks, six plus four strength, but on a but it's deadly reach two, and on a perfect hit, the edge sharpens, gain plus four strength for the rest of the attack. If yeah. you have a red and a green, we might want to grab that. Yeah. If nothing else, it's good to have for future. Yeah. Okay. So either way, your fighting art. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Are you? I seriously. <laughs> you are not allowed to touch decks anymore. That's you, are not, you are not fucking allowed to touch anything anymore. Oh god! You can see me now, so you can see how red I am. <laughs> Oh my god, that's fucking ridiculous. I cannot fucking believe it. In case that wasn't clear, that's freaking wardrobe expert. Oh, it's not that clear. So they're probably Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I I have my inner prima donna's coming out. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> For those just joining us, this is like the fifth time I've drawn wardrobe expert this game. <laughs> You are literally, you're not allowed to touch anything anymore. I'm going to roll your dice for you. Okay, up. that's good. Our settlement is too fab. Yeah. <laughs> I know why we're losing so many fucking people. Because all you fucking do is stick around with clothing. That's it. Should I, like, rip off my shirt right now and protest? Jeez. <laughs> it's terrible. It's better than, than some, but yeah. <laughs> she needs to cut any deck I touch. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well. Well. Anyways. I need to pull out a token. So this is going to be a relatively uneventful uh, uh, oh, settlement. Ah. Stupid thinking I went into tablet mode because I popped the keyboard. Ugh. Terrible. So we're going to end up right in that fight, right? Uh, no, we're doing the... It, I mean, we don't have to do it. We can do... We can do the Kingsman if we want to. Oh. We can die if we want to. <laughs> I'd move your figure off. We need most of that room. So we do have the scrap. So we're pretty good there. Yeah. So in addition to what we have out, we also have two more broken lanterns, two stout hide, one stout kidney, and one stout heart. <laughs> Our settlement house is Project Runway. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Uh, okay, so did you He's have... saying it's amazing in the final showdown versus the Watcher. Okay, great. If we ever get there. Oh, you have a matchmaker. Yes, I do. Babo. <laughs> okay, so we have five endeavors. Okay. Um. Oh wait, I have a tinker as well. Yeah, that's why we get five. Okay, I didn't know if you brought a tinker. Yeah. No, I didn't this time. Okay, yours died. Yeah. <laughs> she was a matchmaker too. It's fucking awesome. She brought her own fucking intimacy. Okay, so now we get our settlement event, right? Oh no. Yes. Yes, it is time for more pain. Hey, I've not been doing bad drawing settlement events. Mm-hmm. Keep saying that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you don't need your cure after that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I thought you could keep going after the Watcher. No. Watcher is the end. When is the Watcher? 
You're launching your 25 by default, I think. Oh, okay. But he can get moved out or stuff? Yeah, he could get moved out or moved in. Oh. Though I've heard some people will keep going after that just for fun. I guess so. Uh... Oh, oh, up to nine viewers. Woohoo. As always, like, favorite, subscribe, follow, all that good fun stuff, please. Yes. And check out Defense Grid, the board game. It's on Board Game Geek. It's on uh, our own forums, which I'll throw up at the end of this, and a few other things. And here we go. Dun, this dun, is dun. a look of dread. Silk Storm. Oh, okay. We did that before, and we can't. Oh, shoot. And the settlement wakes to find everything and everyone inexplicably covered in a blanket of thick silk. Gain plus two endeavors this settlement phase that can only be used on spiticules innovations, which I don't think we have any. Zip zero nada. The settlement is completely covered in this sticky stuff. Survivors cannot depart this year unless they have at least one empty space in their gear grid. That's a bit of a pain, but we're going to the king's... Which would be right, still departing. Right. Yeah, I know, um, but... Okay, we have three options for spending uh, stuff, but only one we can do because we don't have Lakeless Ball or Silk Refining. So we can do Silk Diet. Roll a d10. One to three. Food Coma. Gain five. Survival and skip the next hunt. Okay. Four through seven. Found a bug. Gain a random vermin resource. Mm -hmm. Eight plus. You manage to eat your way out of the silk and may fill your gear grid normally if you depart this year. Mm. Too much risk. Yeah. Though, actually, if we're going out, that may still be good for that person. Mm, no, I don't... Well, oh yeah, the reverberating lantern. Yeah, yeah. could gain the random vermin resource. Yeah. So since we're not going to set out these characters, but that's a, it still costs an endeavor. So it might be worthwhile. Yeah. Okay, now we move on to update death count. Not a zero zilch. Uh... And then update timeline. Yep. What do we have? It's just uh, Gorm Climate. Gorm Climate hits first? Yeah. Okay. Let me pull that out. And get... It's just, this year is just the Nemesis encounter in the Gorm Climate. Okay. And I tend to repeat this mainly because uh, there's some people... Oh, crap. I didn't put that in the deck <sighs> when I shuffled. Ugh. The chances of growing it were yeah. actually really super low. So are the chances of me pulling wardrobe experts so frequently. <laughs> okay, so roll for Mira. Five. Uh, so we get the plus two to home innovations. Yep. And that's it. Okay. That's the only home innovation we still have. That we no, do. we have bed. What does bed allow us to do again? Cure shit. Oh, which we don't have a problem with. Yeah. Okay, so I think, more. I think that's done. And I'll actually leave this in the deck so I don't screw that up next time. Okay, so now we move on to develop, correct? Yes. Okay, so first thing I think we're doing is we're making that greater Gax. Mm, okay. Just because it's a rare chance, even though we may not use it for a while, let's just pop it. Greater decks. Next thing I think we're doing is filling out leather armor. Yeah. So we need the skirt and the mask, correct? Yeah. Okay, so we spend one endeavor. And that makes us le two leather. Okay. Then we spend the two leather and our new scrap. Okay. And we get the mask and the uh, skirt. Okay. And we now have somebody with a full set of leather armor. I was so expecting that we would end up with a um, full set of gourmet first. Yeah. Oh, well. Leather mask and leather skirt. Not complaining. Let's see. Leather skirt. Leather mask. So we don't care about another uh, shield, right? Uh, we don't really need another shield, yeah. No, and it would cost both our bone, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. We need to do an innovation. Yeah. 
All the stuff we have in the town we want to keep, except for the scrap, right? I mean, scrap is useful, but yeah. Do we have an organ? A spirit organ of any sort? Or sorry, a spirit hide? Uh, or organ? We only have the stout hide. Oh, do we want to spend one in order to be able to do an innovation? It might be worth it. I think we do, because I mean, I know it sucks. I really do. But mm -hmm. like, if we're not innovating, we're not progressing. Okay, we're going to spend that. We want to keep the kidney and heart because they're rare. So we'll spend the use the uh, hide instead. Okay, so. And we're getting rid of the vertebrae in the hand. Okay. Oh, and now we get to draw four. Yes. Drums, 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 drums. Okay, so how many cards do we have? A Three, lot. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have a one in three chance of getting our drums. Ugh. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Keep going. We always like tips. As long as it's not for a blind fight. Yeah. If we're doing a blind fight, then we don't want tips. But if we're, it's not a blind fight, we don't care. Ooh. We don't have any bone in the town. Hmm? We don't have any bone in the town? No. Okay. So we might just want to save those last two monster bone, because if we get one more, we can make the form. Okay. Uh, shield is a must against the Kingsman's trap. Okay. We have a shield, though. Yeah, we already have a knuckle shield. It might be useful to have two, but I don't think it's that useful to where we would skip uh, a uh, innovation. Yeah. For us, the innovations are really key right now. It would be really nice to get rid of Gorn Planet. Uh-huh. Okay, so, first, scrap smelting. Oh, wow. Next, storytelling. Oh. Ooh, that's tempting. Oh, man. And then, what? we'd get two more. Yep. Next, paint. Oh, that's Dash. Oh, this is a horrible draw. <laughs> Why? And last, nightmare training. Oh. We got four really awesome ones, but not the one we wanted. Okay, now I just gotta see how far in the deck was drums. Last card. Okay, so we weren't getting. <laughs> okay, so scrap smelting. I think of these we want less. I don't want it, but of those though, I think we want that the least. Yeah. Okay, so that goes back. <sighs> Storytelling. We needed that for something, I thought. Storytelling unlocks the sonorous rest. What's that? Advantage. Um, with storytelling during sonorous rest, um, you have a 20% chance of gaining plus one courage or plus one understanding, and a 20% chance of, gain of every survivor gaining one random fighting art. Yeah. Um, yeah. With only eight places, it would be difficult to take another shield. Mm -hmm. Especially since three of our characters are full, basically. Yeah. Okay, also, it unlocks uh, the bonus with Gorm Climate if we roll an 8, 9, or 10. Mm. Which uh, changes us from um, a struggling against the Quaking Ground. Uh, and a survivor would get uh, one Courage to uh, huddling together. And getting one understanding. So not a big difference. No. I didn't know if it was better than that. No. Uh, storytelling also gives us a new endeavor option. Spend two. Uh, uh, spend three resources. Gain an understanding. Four through seven. Uh, two survival and two insanity. Eight plus the wife speaker uh, thing. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Is it the same one on that? No. Oh. Uh, paint is dash. Um... And paint consequences. Nightmare training would not add more cards. Um, that's worth noting. You train, you lose three survival, uh, but you have to basically keep rolling and spending one survival each time if you can until you're either out of survival, you're out of survival, roll a one and die, or gain a weapon proficiency level or permanent accuracy or strength, your choice. Might actually be best to take smelting. What, scrap smelting? Yeah. No. You want storytelling? Paint. Oh, if oh, we dash! If we don't do anything else, we get paint. Paint it is. Good call. Get dash. Dash. I can't believe I was forgetting that. And now we add paint consequences. Yes. 
Okay. I mean, we dash. One thing is, is that common wisdom is that dash is required to face level two enemies. Oh, that's a good good point. Yeah, you had mentioned that before. Okay, pink gives us a few new things. Pictograph, crudely drawn pictures guide the way home. Anytime we can run away. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great for the, like the Kingsmen. Yeah. If we had that, but too late. Yep. Um, or face painting. Uh, you get battle. You can roll for battle paint, which makes you a laughing stock, lose a survival, or gain three insanity. That could be nice. Or you can roll for founder's eye. Nothing happens. Or you get plus ones to your ability. To, you get plus ones to your intimacies. Story event. Oh, this yeah, element. Yeah, you can phase. eliminate the chance of, of getting. Dying. You can no, you can do that multiple times. Oh, you can. You can stack you can them. Stack them. So if we didn't have protect the young, that would be a way of handling it. Yep, that's exactly. So if you works. have that, you go for the other one. Well, yeah, or you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, without dash because you need to dodge. It's uh. Bleh. Yeah. Okay, so we still have four endeavors. Yep. And, um, We're saving the two monster bone for future, so you can record those. Oh, I'll put you have the yeah. basic resource deck? I'm just giving to remind. Yeah. Okay, so those are going into the settlement. Okay, so what do we want to do with our last four endeavors? Okay, so are we actually going to try to nail the Kingsman? Would we, we immediately go out after this fight? Yep. Or after the settlement? Yep. Um, we we do have time. We could try to do them tonight. And That's we, not what I mean. I mean, like, what do we do? We want to try to kill him. Or yes, not? I think we want to try to kill him. So we're gonna send our saviors on. Yeah. Okay. That's my thought. What do you think? It's not a bad idea. Um. How do our saviors look on strength bonus from uh, settlement watch or fighting arts? Um, so our saviors, so Tang, Tang does not have anything from Settlement Watch. Raspberry Jam got the plus one strength from Settlement Watch. Okay, let's do a roll on Tang quick. Okay. So I'll roll for Tang for Settlement Watch. Oh, I get... He gets a fighting art. Okay. That's good, because now we can roll again and try to get him the strength. We have a good odds. Okay. So let's hope I don't get wardrobe expert. <laughs> Who anybody taking bets on me on me drawing wardrobe expert? Taking bets. What are the odds? What would you put on this? This is like rolling snake eyes. Oh, that's one thing though. I can take bandages and the reverberating lantern out of uh, Tang's inventory because she can just have all of the leather stuff in there and because she has the native one green affinity. But we want the three, if possible, to get all the armor. Um, no, 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 that's not what I mean. Like, oh, you can do words, that! There's that, but there's also the fact that like she, she already has three because she's a green savior. Yeah. So she has a green affinity, period. So that puts her at four now with that setup. Yes. And then you just put the bandages on one other person. Yes. Which could, actually the bandages might want to go to gravy. Okay. So yeah. just pass those over here and I'll put those on gravy. And then we're going to make, uh, that's Tang, is that? Uh, yeah, Tang. And then I get a uh, raspberry, what? Jam. Jam. So raspberry jam will take over in place of omelet. Because I have the, uh... Red affinity, right? Yeah. Which gives me what? Uh, it gives you an automatic hit. Okay, so I have two automatic hits because I get the plus one red affinity. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then we still have to pick our other two characters that are coming with. Yes. But random fighting art for who was getting this? Tang? Uh, Tang, yes. Okay. Tang will get... Seasoned Hunter. Whenever a random hunt event result is 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, or 100, you gain an understanding and a courage. Interesting. So any double number or 100. Seasoned hunter. Okay. That's, yeah, that's not that useful on a savior, though. No. 
Okay, and now we'll roll again to try to get you the strength before we go in. Just one shot at this. And we get it. Okay. Plus one strength. Oh, wait. If that's if her strength is zero, right? Yeah. Oh, she already had one? It looks like it, yeah. Um. Yes. Okay, so that goes on somebody else then. Uh, raspberry Jam does not have it, so Raspberry Jam will take it. Uh, or did you not mark it? I didn't mark it on Raspberry Jam. Okay. So they both have it. Whoops. Okay. So let's see. Who else are we going to bring? So we could... I might just bring gravy out. Gravy. Well, no. Gravy's bow proficiency. I don't want to bring gravy. Uh, we could put it on black pudding, maybe? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> um, or we would have probably tried to get more saviors, I think. Hmm? So intimacy with our last two. If we get one, we'll throw it on that. Okay. We can intimacy on... Mara and gravy again. Uh, what oh, we wait, have no. To... Oh, wait. No, we get the matchmaker. And the matchmaker is, yeah. isn't it, I think... That's a free. Matchmaker, yeah. So we get the one free intimacy, and then we're going to try to get the last understanding for that one character. Yeah. Insight. 100 is double zero. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Duh. Yeah. Oh. That makes sense. Oh, no, you do have to spend the endeavor to intimacy, but... Oh, yes. we do? Yeah. Okay, so I'll spend one. So we're saving that one strength. We move it off black pudding, because if we get somebody new, it would have gone to that. We, we screwed up because I thought we didn't have it. Yeah, I'm sorry. No problem. Okay, I'll roll for the intimacy, and it's Mira and... Uh, gravy, as always. That is a... Seven. Seven. Oh, my God. I'm going to go tear the book. It's like tearing the board. I know. <laughs> like somebody might have done. Me? Never. Seven, right? Mm -hmm. Plus one strength. Oh, nice. So it won't be that character. So I guess we'll do a mail. Um, oh, we need we need possibly two names. So if you guys can pop us some names. Yeah. And they'll both be males. Okay. Unless we get a savior. But I like when I write down the real person because yeah. yeah. Okay, so roll again for 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 the augury. And we're going to have sausage do the augury. Yes, trying to max understanding. If we fail, and we still have a scrap that we can dump, right? Uh, yes. Okay. That would be... Awful. Okay, we can either... We have a choice. We can either give them a survival, or we can get that no, understanding. No, 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 no. Sauce is just rolling. We can't make those pluses. Oh, we don't get the plus. No. Oh, good point. Okay. So we lose one broken lantern. Yep, and he maxes. And he maxes. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Dun, 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 All right. Let's We've play. never seen this before, and we haven't looked ahead or anything, so we may die. Wait, secret. A dream buried deep in memory suddenly surfaces. You feel her hot breath bathing your ear, hissing whispers. She had come to you bearing the secrets of the world and you had merely forgotten until now. Your brain swells and you scream out in pain. Suffer the lunacy brain trauma and remember the story. Oh, that's a, not a disorder. Well, no, I think it gives you a disorder. Mm. Uh, lunacy, gain a random disorder on 1d5 insanity. Okay. I can lose one of my old ones. Oh. Where, did that go? Where did I put the disorder back? Oh, over here. So he's now up to 17 insanity. I love our organization now. Mm -hmm. uh, do you get anything else? Uh, yeah. But okay. First, let's, let's suffer the lunacy brain trauma. Yes. So you get your disorder. Oh, oh that's. Oh, that's a pretty picture. Uh, but also kind of disturbing. I think it's safe to show on camera. Is that nothing extra showing? Yeah. Oh, that shows up pretty clear, actually. Yeah, it does. Though, it'd be really nice to get that new camera. If anybody wants to donate us $2,000... <laughs> Yeah. Good luck, Good luck with, that. with that. Yeah, we want to. We've got a. We've fully spec'd out an upgrade for our upper camera that'll switch it to 4K. And while we can't stream on Twitch at 4K, just going to 4K feed allows us to do some dynamic zooming and allows us to do uh, other interesting stuff. And it'll just provide a default crisper picture. So we're we're making plans. If we ever get the money, it doesn't necessarily have to come from Twitch or YouTube or wherever. How much have we made off YouTube? Like five dollars total now? Uh, I've made a buck six. twenty. Six. Oh, you're up to six? Well, no. Six total. Oh, I'm I'm a buck twenty. Yeah, I'm about four eighty. Woohoo! 
So all we need is another like 1900 and we can get a camera. Um, okay, so your disorder yep. is prey. You are prey. All there is for you is death. You may not spend in su survival unless you are insane. I don't think that's a problem. Yep. For sausage. That's actually pretty much the best disorder you could hope for for sausage. Yeah, and I lost it. Uh, and I lost uh, hemophilia for it. Oh, so that's thank nice. God. Okay, so now I roll. Woohoo! For what? Actually, one to two is good on this. Really? Yes. You get ageless. Ooh. But we will find out. Three. Nine. Oh, nine? Yeah, oh, was I was looking one. at the wrong guy. Story of the Invisible Hair. You remember the story of a woman with long hair so fine it couldn't even be seen. She claimed she could feel anything her hair touched. On her deathbed, she cut it all off and gifted a single strand to any who visited her. What was left over was scattered and hangs floating on the wind, waiting to be grasped by those who learn this story. Gain the following ability. While there is no armor or accessory gear in your gear grid, gain plus three evasion. Ooh. I don't think you'll ever be using it. Oh, that's it. No, like the thing is though, is that he's just like he like he'll just go out without armor, like in most cases. Like it doesn't have to be the person who's wearing like the armor over here. But that's sausage, that's the twilight sword. Yeah, but plus three evasion is amazing. But would you want to go out with our armor with the twilight sword? That seems bad. Yeah, but in any case. I mean, you're now looking at a 5 plus on most attacks, so 50% dodge chance. Oh, that's a difficult choice. I mean, that would be great on somebody like Gravy, but with the, anybody but the Twilight Sword, I would have really loved that. Yeah. But now we know. So if we get more people up there, we get that again, right? Uh, yes. Sweet. Well, we don't necessarily get this. There are other stories. Well, yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Alrighty then. So all three are good. That's a rarity in this game. Yeah, I know. It's oh, amazing. Oh, Midnight. All of them are good. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that would be that. Okay, what were we doing left? Oh, we have one Endeavor and we still, we're going to do another. Wait, did was that our last, that was, was that our last Endeavor? Mm, I think it may have been. Yeah, I think we spent that Endeavor, but it yeah, that was our last endeavor. Okay. You're right. So now we have to pick who gets that strength. Yeah. Plus one, which... Uh, who are we bringing out? I'm bringing out Raspberry Jam. You're bringing out Tang. We could do put it on Melon, who has extra sense. Um, like, we could put it on... Can I take a peek? I mean, don't... These aren't 100% accurate. Black Pudding, I know we haven't used. I don't think we've used Melon either, so... Yeah, I'm looking for somebody that we can bring out right now. Uh, even just possibly a new person. Um, so coffee already has the strength. Croissant, we don't want to bring out or can't. We can't bring croissant out. Um, gravy already has it. I'm probably just going to bring gravy to get that speed boost. Mm -hmm. So I'll just bring gravy. So let's just pop it on... Yeah, let's pop it on Melon, because he already has a fighting art. Okay. So yeah, give the Melon the plus one strength. Yeah, Midnight confirmed it was our last endeavor. Okay. So there we go. So I'm bringing Gravy. Uh, and Raspberry Jam. So we have Tang. And... I would bring somebody that's new, but that actually has a real... Oh, wait. No, I didn't want to bring Gravy because the bow. Proficiency. That's yeah. right. Okay, can you give me the settlement sheet? I will bring... You know, I'll bring Melon. Or were you going to? No. I'm just wondering. There's an interesting thing we could try to do. What's that? Hash brown has propulsion grab. What does that do again? So, I looked it up. It gives you the survivor status. Every time that you move more than four squares and do not move into the same square twice during that movement, you gain a momentum token. If you get more than, if you get five momentum tokens, then your next attack you can take plus, 
luck and plus strength equal to a 1d10 roll. Actually, yeah, let's try that. I mean, it's awesome, but if we're never going to fucking use it, then... Yeah, so take cash browns, and then I will take melon. So okay. I need a new sheet. There you go. Okay. Uh, do we have any other setup for this one? Uh, for the king's one? Before we go. Melon is, what, female? Yeah. Okay, so the knuckle shield is... We get three survival departing plus one for creating. Uh, we, yeah, well, no, we get a, we get an additional plus two survival because of nightmare, uh, because of settlement watch. So keep that in mind. We're basically maxed. You're getting six. There's oh, no I'm way. getting six. Okay. Yeah, there's almost no way not to. Okay, cool. Um, and that'll put raspberry jam all the way up to six as well. Yep. Um, you have. Oh, we can't get the insanity bonus. No. Uh, that might have been a good thing to roll on. I don't think Insanity was that important on Kingsman. I'm sure Midnight will let us know. <laughs> Insanity's vital! Fuck us. Um, so we're actually going to do this? I think so, but um, for people watching on YouTube, uh, this video is about to end. You'll see a, a next video where we'll just fight the Kingsman. That's all it's going to be. And then we'll probably have to take off. Uh, for those uh, watching on Twitch, we're going to stick around. So...